welcome to Critzcast. Tonight we have for you a little bit of 6v6 action. A little bit of Australian 6v6 action. We've got the Oz Fortress Season 33 Premier Division Grand Final. To guide you through it all tonight, my name is uh, Snazzy and I'm joined by uh, Lugnuts and Elmo. Premier Division, it doesn't get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into base. The first map of the five, hopefully full five to keep it going. Lug nuts, take it away. Well, uh, Daz actually gets there first, gets a little bit more space for his team. Uh, but they're actually not really going too far forward and they're not really liking to commit too heavily. Just both teams wanting to just poke at each other from quite far away on the point while they demonstrate some spin. We see Paulson go in for a nice big sack. He does end up getting taken down, so does Wright. Two of the soldiers on uh, 30 there just jumping straight on through. They both go down, which uh, that two player ad seems to be just enough to, to let Freak Show just push straight on forward. And they're getting quite aggressive with trying to stuff 30 into that uh, that lobby area. Doing a bit of damage there. I show looking like he wants to peek out. So does Matt, but I think he may get caught here, which will be absolutely tragic. Now, that's actually funny with that is that last time we saw Freak Show on mids, they were playing the same kind of passive mids against Soiree, but then after a little while of poking, they were the ones who usually commit first, got the players cleaned up. This time it seems to be the complete opposite. Yeah, uh, and we do see 30 getting very eager onto the point here. They're getting quite a bit of ground. They're actually edging that point to be able to cap it before the timer even really keeps ticking on down. Paulson does go down in that flank area, which is going to give Freak Show just enough room to sort of maneuver. Get themselves in here and try to get some damage off right, having to back out as well. And uh, there's quite a few 30 players very, very low on their side of the point, but they picked up two players, Connor and Fane, both of the soldiers on, on Freak Show. And like I said earlier, this two player, it's enough to play. You can get forward. They're getting quite a bit of damage onto Dad, but the Uber does come out. Freak Show looking to use that one very aggressively, getting quite a few flashes on the other team. The med using on more than one person. That actually decreases the time on that Uber. But it does look like the post tube is pretty good for 30. They're actually managing to push straight on in. But we do see the blue medic, Miramu, on Freak Show, able to back on out, which is going to keep a little bit of Uber ad for them. Not just that, but they managed to back out, and their team cleaned up four players on the side of 30. That's going to give them all the space they need to get back, take space on this point, get another cap, and get some crucial Uber building back up to you know, keep things nice and even for them. Yeah, I mean, Uber obviously like crazy important in 6v6 here where, you know, you've really only got six players. Having that Uber, I mean, you can sort of, if you play it right, you can guarantee you can keep everyone alive in a fight. Um, so things tend to revolve around a little bit, little bit of an ad on the side of 30 there, allow with a tiny bit, of, but they also have one player ad that they're using to, to get forward. But Dork managing to pick up Cookie is huge. That's going to give them all they need to sort of take this fight on a more even footing. Both the Ubers have equalized. Cookie's still down though, and Scout being down is huge. So down and his mid go straight on through with the Uber. They get that forced Yeti Lao having to use on a couple more players than Miramu did. And it looks like a very, very scrappy fight on the tail end of the one. Both teams just throwing players in until they manage to get some kills, including Lao going down very, very early. Obviously no heal. That's gonna be a big, big difference for uh, Freak Show here. Yeah, I'm expecting to see a lot of the 30 players trying to go in and make sure to keep Miramu down. He doesn't have the Uber yet, but I mean, so far, even though they had those two soldiers down, they are taking a pretty decent level of control over their side of the point. 30, however, has just been coming in consistently and just capping this point up. So even though they haven't come out the best in these team fights, they have just kept so much time on the point. Yeah, the timer counting down. When it hits zero, one of these teams gets the round. You did see Paulson in behind trying to get some damage onto the mid. The rest of the team was there. Daz and Miramu going down. Absolutely tragic for Freak Show. They only had two players left alive, both of them having to back it. Boy, 30 have just absolutely shown their dominance there. Yeah, really, the that's the good swing that's gone their way. They finally actually have an uber advantage. They already have a better time on the point. So really, right now, it is Freak Show, up to Freak Show to really make something happen here and switch things around for them. Unfortunately, however, they have quite a bit away from their own uber. So they're mainly probably going to go for a sack onto Lau here to try to get something down. But they have managed to get the point as well. Yeah, they have managed to get that point, which is going to start putting the time back into their favor a little bit. 1 minute 30 v 45 seconds. They did throw a couple players at Lau and they did actually get the force on him. He had to use his Uber just to stay alive, which is going to equalize things. Indeed, it's, it's going to give a bit of an add to Freak Show. They're able to push in now with that Uber. 
Yeah, good play from them there. Um, of course, capping the point did delay their spawns a little bit, because of course the team that has the point has slower respawns on King of the Hill, and unfortunately for them that meant their push was delayed slightly, but of course they have their, they're waiting for their Uber anyway, and this time they have gone all the way in behind, and right now 30 is going to be the one trying to pull Lau out of this alive. Yeah, they managed to get Lau out alive, but they do lose three of their players, including Matt in the meantime on Demo Man. Demo Man's sort of your main damage dealer, so losing your, your demo is... I mean, it's grim. It's very grim. It'll, it'll cause you some big problems. But they have got that 16 seconds left on the clock for uh, for 30. Free Show is bringing it down from a minute now, under a minute, as we... But the Ubers have equalized. It's going to end up being a bit of a fight, and we've seen 30 just cap this for free previously. At this time, of course, even Ubers really don't want to let them cap this one for free. And of course, they've gotten three kills already, so that's a pretty good start for them. They can retain their Uber, they can retain control of the point, and 30 is the one who's been forced to pull out and wait for their respawners. Yeah, 30 are definitely playing this one a little bit close to the chest. 30 seconds left on the clock for free. If they bring this one down with 16 seconds left on the clock, I mean, they're going to be totally happy with that one. Here comes the fight. They're going to have to take this fight here if you're on uh, third. Yeah, and so far they are moving up pretty aggressively. A lot of their players have taken a little bit of damage here, so they don't want to commit too hard just yet. The Uber has come through onto Aishel, though. Right onto Daz. He manages to get flashed along with down here. Um, so far, no frags yet, but a bit of an Uber from the side of Freak Show. Yeah, Freak Show able to run that time down to overtime now. The point does get capped back by 30, but they're losing players. Matt and Riot going down on the point. That should give Freak Show what they need here. This point is still going in overtime. Both teams playing on that point. The longer they're on the point, the longer this fight can go. Both clocks on zero seconds. Freak Show managed to cap it. The overtime starts again. I didn't even know that was possible. The fight's continuing on the point. The Freak Show looks like they're taking it, and they do. In the absolute nick of time, one of the closest cost rounds I think I've ever cast. They managed to take that one. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the, the double overtime cost round where both sides are on zero seconds and it still gets capped back and forth. Really good showing from Freak Show there. Fane coming at the last second, doing just the right amount of damage needed for his team to clear up the point. I, I, I'm actually... I did not know that you could cap it back when both teams are on overtime. That doesn't even make sense to but this mid begins now. One round on the board. They only need to get three to win the map. <laughs> we see both teams just posturing off at each other. No real frags yet. No real damage really to speak of either. Although Fane goes down very, very low. Going for a bit of a jump. We do see Connor and Dork really deep on 30 as well. They take out Paulson and Riot. In the meantime, Fane managing to clean up Riot as he came for a bomb onto Mira. Both teams still fighting here, but Lau has been forced which is going to put Miramu and the rest of Freak Show in a very good position here if they can keep that up. There is a scout really deep onto them. It's Cookie as well, which is dangerous. <laughs> but they do manage to take him down in just the nick of time. Um, so that's going to put Freak Show definitely on the upper hand. Honestly, one of the most terrifying things you can see in the game is one of the scouts, especially Cookie, right up in your face. Does manage to survive there. That does maintain their uber advantage. Now again, 30 is the one at the disadvantage. Two soldiers, big bomb in onto the Dim Man. Daz going pretty low here, getting launched. However, both Matt and Riot have been cleaned up for that one. In return, however, Fane is dead. Dork, Down's dead. Dork's low. Daz is low. Miramu's low. He's been cleaned up by Aisho now. So even though there's a lot of kills going through for both teams, was that a... But that was a that was a full use actually from Miramu. Yeah, Miramu and the rest of his team actually got in. They cleaned up quite a few players, but it, it just wasn't enough. I mean, the, they got a bit disconnected on the tail end of the Uber. The post Uber didn't go their way, and now Lau is up with a twenty percent Uber, um, and Daz has only just spawned, so they really could not fight this point. Um, and it's already been capped back, so they're down to a minute fifty-five. But it's uh, now only two minutes fifty on the clock for thirty. Yeah, still a little bit of an advantage on time for Freak Show. They have the time to wait it out, build their Uber, and take this however they really want to. Does look like they are in some aggressive players through, looking for a force here, or at least some kind of, you know, sack play. Uh, has gone very nicely for them. They've killed four players for only Dork Down and Fane. That's not going to allow Miramu, Daz, and Connor to go up and get a lot of space forward. Actually, if Aisho dies here, it might be a wipe. No, he falls and spawns just in time. I, uh, I'm going to add Daz to the list of players to watch. He hits a huge double midi on a soldier coming for him and his med, and then just goes forward and deletes the medic as well. 
like, that was some unreal play, man. That was actually nuts. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting from so far. I mean, like, really, the Freak Show players have been getting in and doing a lot of really disgusting things so far. I've just been keeping an eye on Fane as usual, and man, these, this has been crisp as hell. I mean, 30, however, is looking to clap back here. Sending Force and Riot, and, well, a four man sack in. They do manage to get the Force. Unfortunately, no other kills on top of that. So they get Lao out, they're going to be able to re push this with Uber advantage, but uh, no plans to help that one out. For anyone uh, uninitiated in uh, in Sixes, King of the it's kind of a standard play to throw four players at the medic when you know you're on a massive uber discard because if you can get that force you actually end up in a better spot here now that Lau has this ad he's able to like push in with his team they can go invulnerable they can take the point they can get some kills um so it's kind of a really good play paulson of riot going down right at the start of the push not so good but Cookie and Aisho follow up with a frag each. Both of the soldiers down on both sides. Dork going down on Freak Show. So that's actually pretty good for 30 here. They're able to cap the point. And Freak Show just has to back on out. They know that they've got that massive dis ad and they're just like, nah, I'm not playing. Of course, 30 here now has the advantage. Sorry, 30 here now has to watch out for the fact that, uh, like you said, longer spawns on the point. So Freak Show with even Ubers can either just decide to slow fight this, which they actually decide they used the Uber. Miramu, was he forced by a pipe? He was, he got piped and then he was had a roller under his feet, so he had to use, and the Uber has just gone terribly for them, they've lost so many plays. There's Connor going straight for Lau though, and actually managing to clean him up, Fane coming in for a bit of clean up as well, not enough to take them all out. That is unreal that they managed to clean up Lau there, man. That, that play from Connor was honestly out of this world because now you've turned with the most disastrous Uber use into an Uber advantage situation for you and Lau has only just spawned right now. His team on the point does not have heals. And meanwhile, there's already aggressive players from Freak Show going and getting some of the cap up, which means, yep, just easily walk in and cap that because there's just completely forced for 30 out of there. Yeah, absolutely bullied 30 out of there. And they've only got 30 seconds on the clock left. They only have to hold this point for 30 seconds versus a minute 19 on the side of 30. 30, having lost three players at the start of this fight as well, having to back straight on out, they're going to lose their demo man as well. Connor able to clean up Matt as he tried to flee there. Freak Show, the blue team here, I mean, they're golden at this point. I mean, 13 seconds left on the clock. It, 30's going to have to make something really happen. Yep, even going right now, they don't quite have Uber yet, so a couple of their players can get cleaned up, especially because they've got Fane right on top of them. Doesn't quite manage to get any kills, however, and finally we do have the Uber coming out of 30, but it's so much better for Freak Show here. And they're just able to put this back on the down and chase so many of the 30 players away from this point area. Yeah, dude, Freak Show are totally able to turn that one around to their advantage. The Uber came through, but it was really only used just to get the crown. Freak Show able to use it to clean up this two rounds now to Freak Show on the first map. They're really showing up to this best of five. Yeah, I mean, that that looked very dominant from the first round, which is possibly the closest cough round we've ever seen, to quite a solid round for Freak Show. They clearly have been putting in the work for this map. Like Elmo was saying, I mean, they show their practice right here and right now, and it's just one more point for them to win, and they take this map. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of do or die for 30 here, and it looks like they might know it. They're taking a very conservative stance on this uh, this fight. They lose Riot in the flank there, and both soldiers are in nice and deep. Fane and Connor deep onto map. Paulson does go down on the far end of that one as well, and both of the scouts down and Dork able to clean up a few other players. It is only Lau and Cookie left. They've had to leave just trying to, you know, save the best of that situation while the rest of their team got absolutely turned into mincemeat playing aggressive doesn't work both soldiers get cleaned up then you get pushed playing passive doesn't work riot got caught out in one of those side rooms i mean really it's looking pretty rough for 30 right now yeah i mean definitely being the reigning champs i mean this has got a sting a but they are able to cap that point without losing Ooh, they actually lose eye show as they cap that point. The point's going to get capped back almost immediately, and being a scout down is a dangerous position to be in, especially when you lose Riot in the flank yet again. They did throw Paulson at the med as well, but they didn't quite get the force. He got him down very low. Mirumu, I believe, on 40 health for a second there? Uh, yeah, he was low. That's what moment yeah. we'd really love to have Riot, or maybe I should come up and follow up to that, get the pick, get the force at the very least, but unfortunately both of them died before the sack happened. It's, uh, it's pretty tragic for, for 30 so far. They're really not showing up in the way that I expected them to. 
but it's only the first map. I can definitely see them coming back as well. They're able to uh, get this point about half cap. Neither teams use their Uber just yet. No players down. 30 looking a bit more confident as they come into this one, but they do eat a pipe on their mid. Lau having to go back for a health pack. He really can't take the fight without going down. Connor going for a sack as well. A sacrifice play, throwing himself in there nice and deep in an attempt to clean up Lau, but Lau already was out. And so they've been able to cap this. They have lost Paulson though, and that one player at this sort of level, that's a big deal. Yeah, right, however, okay. all the rest of the players are staying alive. Bane goes down there, so that's equalized things back out. And of course, longer respawn times for Freak Show here. So a little bit of muscle coming forward from Thurda. They know they can bully this point out quite successfully. And they have done so. Now it's even Ubers again. It's Freak Show's chance to try to force this push. Yeah, Freak Show definitely going to have to try and make something happen. They do end up using their Uber in down and his med going in nice and deep. Solo Uber as well, so the longest possible Uber you can do. While uh, 30 did have to flash a blue, few players, they lose Matt as well. Fane and Connor going in for a sack. They clean up Paulson Matt, they both here, go though. down. Paulson's behind, Riot's on their demo as well. Their med goes down. This is looking great for 30. See, this is one of those players where everyone laughs and says, haha, Paulson added another death to it. Well, he was behind there, preventing the medic from pulling straight out. The scout was occupied by having to deal with Paulson so that his medic just wouldn't get deleted. And that's when the rest of the sack came in, got Miramu, who was trapped in that corner area, and got the big wipe that's given the big advantage to 30 here. Yeah, 30 with what? A 50% uber advantage. That is big, big stuff. You can use that aggressively. You can use it passively if you really want to. They are sending so many players through though, and Lau actually dies with 99% uber. And I can tell anyone watching who hasn't experienced it, that hurts. That really hurts. <laughs> Uh, you know, he was just holding down right click there, you know, spamming it, trying to get something out. Unfortunately for him, just not enough. And that's going to now swing the advantage the other way. Freak Show, with almost a 70% advantage going into this, I mean, they're going to be able to push any second now. And it's really up to 30 to try to make sure this advantage doesn't snowball into them getting a much stronger stranglehold over the point. Yeah, uh, they're definitely going to have to play this one a little bit more aggro than I think they have been. However, they have got a tiny bit of time advantage. About 40 seconds, 50 seconds left on the clock for 30. <gasps> the, oh, what they the got 100%? the drop! What? Did so Cookie... what happened there? Riot managed to hop right on top of Miramu in one of those side rooms. Did a good chunk of damage, got him down to 40 HP. Unfortunately, he got cleaned up. But then Cookie came in in the afterwards and just managed to get the right hit on him just before he died and dropped him. That is unreal. Losing your Uber there if you're on... If you're on Freak Show here, I mean, that's absolutely tragic. You were staring down the barrel of, you know, a very easy equalization of the time. But now you're staring down the barrel of a very easy not. But they managed to get on in <laughs> onto Lau again. They kill him on 95. Not quite as painful as 99, but damned close. And they wipe the entirety of 30. We've had 100%, 99%, and 95%. I mean, both mares just unable to get this Uber out. Just such good pressure being put on them by the other team. Uh, unfortunately for, I don't know who it's unfortunate for, Freak Show currently has the advantage, 50% Uber advantage, or 30% Uber advantage, and the point. However, it is a very large time advantage so far, 430. However, you know, that happens in COD. And now that we have such a solid hold and the disastrous sack attempt from 30, I mean, this is Freak Show's chance to maybe pick it up again because they're looking, you know, immovable at the moment. Yeah, it's definitely looking really strong for Freak Show here, especially as they pick up Cookie right at the start of this. Paulson going for a bit of a bomb as well. Daz removing him <laughs> mid air yet again. <laughs> Dude, Daz is actually great, hey. He heard me hype out Matt before and he's like, oh yeah, you wanna see some demo stuff, huh? Let me show you it. Holy cow. So both teams now have their Uber and the red team 30 are looking to push this one straight on through. They're getting quite a bit of ground. Seven seconds left on the cap for Freak Show. 30 finally getting onto that cap now. 19 seconds left on their cap. So they really only need to cap this back and hold it for a little bit. Both Ubers have been used. Both teams taking this fight. Neither team looking especially good. However, Freak Show have lost their med. They've lost a few players as well. 30 is on the point, but the scouts are in nice and deep. Those scouts with their massive, massive burst. 
They've cleaned up quite a few players. It's just Aisho and Paulson. Aisho doing everything he can after Paulson died, but it's looking absolutely grim as Dork just takes him out. And the third round goes the way of Freak Show. A 3 0 shutout. Just going to say <laughs> before I, I peace out for the map, I still think Freak Show, just because of our dominant, will still take this one out. I'll go 3 2. Freak Show. It's right, a very bold prediction. I like it. I, uh, I might actually come around to you guys' side this time. I think Freak Show is going to take it as well. But as we head into map two of this best of five, it's Viaduct. It's the uh, the pro version. A little bit of map changes to the to the ones you might see in pubs. No snow. Very obvious change. The map's already started. Fane managing to take out one of the soldiers on the far side. Riot actually going down as well. Has again hitting a, a mid-air kill with the sticky bomb launcher this time. It, Daz is just having the game of his life, isn't he? Oh, I, honestly, absolutely. He's really determined to show up to this game, and he absolutely has been. I mean, Thirty's actually having some super rough mids so far in these cough maps because when they sack, they sack, they get cleaned up, and then they get pushed. If they don't sack, then they get cleaned up, and then they get pushed. Really don't know what they can do. They are trying to get a little bit more aggression now that they do have their players, though. Getting a little bit of time capping on this point. Very aggressive with Matt here against Daz. Yeah, and Daz actually taking two quick pipes, going down. Matt managing to take him out. That's going to give them more than enough to entry here. I mean, we were saying one player add, that's enough. One player add when it's the demo man, the main damage dealer. I mean, you're absolutely golden. You can push them straight off the... And as you can see, I mean, they've had to back all the way off to that cliff area. Um, just in an attempt to not get absolutely minced. Yep, they are coming back in though. Merrimer going down solo, single digit HP before he uses Uber. <laughs> Uh, the Uber has come back out of Lao, however, and now we see some re-aggression coming in from Freak Show. Both soldiers deep in, Cookie going down, Honor going down for that, however, Riot going down as well. Things looking decent for Freak Show at the moment. They have three for their team, uh, but they are all very low at the moment. Yeah, I think they're going to be able to heal on up, though. Those three players having a back, like, all the way out. I mean, you're playing three players versus six. The mathematics don't add up. You're going to take more damage than you can possibly deal. Uh, so they, I mean, it's definitely the smart play, just play that one safe, build up the uber, they do still have a, a tiny bit of ad, it's like 5-10%, it's really, really difficult to use that sort of advantage, but maybe they can turn it around their way. I mean, hopefully, uh, they've got, you know, like you said, they've got the, the uber coming up now, their push is going to be happening any second now, they want to try to do a bully out play, I think, doesn't really look like they're preparing for a sack. Uh, instead going for the exchange here. Uh, players getting a little bit aggressive, they don't really have any time on point here, so it looks like they are just kind of waiting for some kind of advantage. Yeah, both teams really taking a bit of a fight here. Cookie actually going down, taking a pipe on the point there, a little bit uh, a little bit aggressive. And uh, losing a scout there, I mean, it's, it's not as bad as losing your demo like I was talking about earlier, but it's pretty bad. The Uber does get used on point. Matt taking that Uber very far forward, having to get a flash to get out. I show there as well to help. And they've actually managed to cycle the Ubers and neither team really changed their position, which is a kind of difficult thing to do. Paulson and Riot going in for a nice big bomb onto Miro. They managed to clean him up, but they have lost both of their... There is a soldier nice and deep behind, and oh, Lau manages to get away by the skin of his teeth. Daz, the only player left alive, backing on out. Four players left alive on uh, 30. I mean, this is what they wanted, right? Absolutely, that was a fantastic play for them. They managed to get the medic down, so that's a big uber advantage. They have the point now. Finally, after the ubers have gotten out of the way, they've managed to secure a pretty, sol pretty solid hold on the point here. Brick Show, looking like they might be getting ready to do some kind of forward sack play. Miramu, of course, not actually connected with any players, but I mean, they're just going super aggressively into this. They're really getting caps on the point. They got Paulson down for Fein as well. No Ubi coming up yet for Lau, although it's very close. He finally has it now. Uh, but I mean, Miramu is actually holding pretty far back right now, but maybe not far enough back if Cookie maybe just walked forward at him. Yeah, Cookie actually dealing with Down, who was caught in that concrete area on the wrong side of the map. I think they're kind of losing an opportunity here to use that uber aggressive. Um, but they have actually, they keep running the time down on the point, and that is, you know, as I've reminded people when I'm sort of showing them how to play this map in, uh, in Icebreaker and stuff like that, you know, you, the timer is all that matters. You don't care about anything else. Yep, the timer is where you win it. The Uber has come out very early from Freak Show. Much, much better Uber coming out from 30 here. So uh, Paulson already going in very deep for Miramu. He's right on top of him. He gets the kill. 
gets cleaned up himself. He's going to be happy with that one, though. Fade in the back lines with Connor. They do manage to pick up Lau, however, so not going to be a big uber disadvantage. In fact, in fact anything, because of the faster spawn, it's going to be uber advantage for Freak Show here. Um, however, the point's still being held by 30. Yeah, I mean, the point still being held by 30 is, like, definitely good, but... Now they're staring down the barrel of about 15-20 oh, uber disadvantage, which is definitely enough to be usable. Um, and the point has been capped back, so it's really not a major difference. 35 seconds left on the clock for 30, 45 on uh, Freak Show. And they're just going to have to take one of these fights and see how it turns out. And maybe if Daz overextends a little, but that's not really going to happen. As it seems, we actually see the Freak Show players getting very aggressive, able to clean up Aisho. But a few players die in the meantime. Miramu actually going down to a nice big soldier bomb. Lau now able to back out with that uber advantage. And this is what you want if you're 30. You just want to be able to leapfrog, you know, uber add into player add into uber add into player add. I mean, that's golden, right? Exactly, I mean that's your game plan on this map especially, and they're utilizing it to the best of it so far, going forward to catch the point. 30 seconds left for them, 5 seconds left for Freak Show, two soldiers come in, do manage to get the force, that's a really good play out of Freak Show. The cap however does go the way of 30, but now we have an uber advantage for on the side of... Um, on the side of Freak Show, do they actually have enough time to build that? It's 30% already, it's only 20 seconds left on the clock. They're going to have to start that fight before they actually get that uber, I think. They have uh, to rely on the overtime, I think, to get the uber. They surely do, and that's going to be a bit rough for them. They're walking forward, a lot of aggressive players on 30, trying to stop them from getting good position to push on the point. However, both scouts are in the order. Big caps, Soldier already doing a big bomb, and Connor trading with Paulson on the corners. That's actually very good for them, both Paulson and Cookie down. The cap going into overtime and being capped up quite significantly from Freak Show. Freak Show has to hold them off the point for this one second here. Lau and Matt, the only players left on the point. The Uber does get used, and Freak Show are able to take the first round. I just hope that it's not another 0-0 zero, zero into, you know, 3-0. Yeah, exactly. Freak Show do, is, did come out the better of that, but 30 did look like they had a pretty good chance of taking that one. Uh, good handle on the map, good rotations, like you said. Player advantage into Uber advantage. Not quite enough to do, deal with Freak Show, who's now going into their second mid. Yeah, Freak Show are pretty excited, it seems. They're a little bit excitable, a little bit aggressive here. Connor goes in for a nice big bomb, cleans up Matt. Fane actually went in as well onto Lau, wasn't able to make it happen. Fane did go down, and they cleaned up Daz on the side of uh, 30 there. They were able to clean up Daz there, which is absolutely huge. I mean, Daz is like, he's been showing he's one of the greats all night. So taking him out in any scenario is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely having the game of his life at the moment, doing so well here. Uh, unfortunately, him dying there does, did mean not quite enough of a front line to prevent the push through from 30. So they do get the first cap here. Uh, so far, both teams have shown to pre be pretty apt at picking up the other team's medic, but so far, actually, 30 probably has had the better sacks. However, Freak Show are the ones to use their uber first here. Go forward, they kill Matt at the start of that, which is going to be huge for them. Yeah, I mean, it's an absolutely fine uber if all you clean up is the demo. They do pick up the med on the side of... Okay, no, never mind. They picked up the med on the side of 30, but uh, they did lose their whole team for it, so it's not as good as it was going to be. <laughs> medic for a wipe, you know, I'd take that trade any day of the week, and I mean, 30's going to be pretty happy, sorry, Freak Show has to be pretty happy with that as well, especially because they didn't have the point during that, which means the Medic spawns first, giving them the little decent chunk of uber advantage. Uh, on top of that, I mean, so far, however, I have to say, 30 has been doing really, really well at picking Miramu in these fights, at the end of these fights, at the start of these fights, whenever they really need to. Unfortunately, just not enough to swing the fight in their favour. Yeah, I mean, 30 seem to be really struggling for this that's it. I mean, we seem like we're, we're down on guys. These are some of the best players in Australia. You know, Riot going down right at the start of that fight, getting caught out by a trap by Daz, I believe. Um, which is going to slow them down, especially with a few of their players down real low. So they're having to back off yet again. But uh, yeah, no, these guys, like, they're really scary, you know. <laughs> like, you see them in the server and you should be frightened. For sure, big set coming through from 30, Paulson and Matt going down however, the Uber does come out so they've got to be pretty happy with that, they do have Lau all the way back in spawn already, I don't think he even left spawn, just the usual, you know, four man sack out of it, uh, was building so he has full Uber advantage now, a time, chance for 30 to get the point back, especially because they don't really have too big of a time disadvantage. Yeah, I mean that's only, what, like about 30 seconds, 30 seconds each, that they're uh, they're on a disadvantage time wise, however Fane is I see the in. pyro. Oh my lord. 
Fane was bombing in, trying for the frag, but Cookie was there to meet him on Pyro, had to absolutely bail out of that one on, on Fane's butt. And uh, the rest of the team's being able to push straight on through. Dork is still in that house area behind them, though. And as he comes in here now, he's on to Lau. He hits two quick shots. One, two, night, night. Lau, you're gone. Dying with full oop. Absolutely tragic. What a heads up. Play. And he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually disgusting. He's still back there, and that's going to pull all of 30 back to try to deal with him, while Freak Show just walks up and he's point. However, Cookie looking to scrap back, and he does getting the kill onto Miramu. Uh, very nice exchange from him there, showing that, yep, Dork's not the only one who can do that. He does have a die for that, but I mean, you know, Dork's now back with his team anyway. Dude, this is mental, man. <laughs> the gameplay that's happening on this map is... Uh, dynamic! <laughs> 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 Very dynamic, I'd say. I mean, we do have 30 having the advantage again now, though, and having the point, so finally an opportunity for them to chip time off. However, now the Freak Show players are all up and are getting forward. Big set coming out of Connor and Fane there. Onto Paulson of all players. Do manage to kill him. They're quite low, however, but all the rest of the Freak Show players are up to support them. I mean, I think that's a fine sack. Like, I could hear the surprise and I felt it as well. You have one player up, that definitely puts you in a better position, unless you lose two players just then. Down and Connor going down. So does Fane, that's three players down. Connor has just spawned, but they, they're still going to have to back. And that means that 30 can keep on rolling the timer down here. Minute 30 left on the clock, looking at 50 seconds on the side of Freak. I think that uh, uh, this is going to be a bit, of a, a bit of a wild fight with this Uber here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's going to be one for sure. We do now have the Freak Show players coming up with it. They do use the Uber first. So much delayed, and Daz actually, sorry, uh, Daz kills Matt. He gets dropped by his medic. The Uber has come out much better timing from on the side of uh, 30, and they do manage to pick up the medic as well, but just too little too late. Lau goes down, Paulson goes down. All the other players are so low, and this is a scrappy one. It's, uh, it's definitely a scrappy one. That fight was absolutely in uh, in 30s favor until i think i think daz just uh sorry yeah in 30s flag um i think matt just took a little bit more damage than they were expecting uh and and it, it, they just didn't pop over in time i mean it, it all happened so quick <laughs> Yeah, you never really expect just Daz to drop that much damage in that short amount of time. Dirty is coming to back to try to refight this point, however, before the Uber, but Lau going down to Daz again. Oh, man. That's got to be extremely rough. And Lau going down for, and Cookie as well. For only Dork's going to be a good situation. They almost get the point as well again. Fane and Connor in the back lines, but looks like they might be able to get out of here, which sets up Freak Show for a very good hold. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show's totally happy with this hold. I mean, they've got 80% uber staring at uh you know 20 percent on low it's just not enough to really make anything happen they throw both of their soldiers paulson and riot they go forward and they try to make something happen they get that uh damage off but it's not enough to make anything happen lao managing to clean up dork with an arrow all the way across the map but it's just not going to be enough miramu did end up using it in that uh that jump there. so it is kind of what they wanted but there's only 20 seconds left on their clock and zero seconds left on free shows so Freak Show are going to take the second round, not quite as convincingly as they took the second round on the other map, but pretty well. Yeah, I mean, the, the gap is widening a little bit. We weren't expecting another double overtime, but only 20 seconds means 30 is definitely still in this fight and uh, ready to strike back with something here. And uh, they are looking to move up on this point here. Matt's actually getting pretty aggressive. They're deciding to send their soldiers in aggressively. Paulson and Cookie already in behind, and so much space has already been taken on this point. And that's all actually a frag onto Dork. However, both Book, Cookie and Paulson are dead. But in return, they get Miramu, and all the players on Freak Show are so low. Yeah, Freak Show players are so <laughs> crazy low. Just saw the <laughs> Yes, I um, They're so crazy low that they can't actually get forward to make anything happen. To explain what we were laughing at, there was a cave kill. Um, which is it's rare. Very rare. I mean, since they nerfed the cave, you know, nothing's the same. But I mean, uh, are coming back here, however, they have a massive move of disadvantage. So they're fighting an uphill battle onto the point this time. Doesn't even look like they're really setting up for a sack too much since Miramu is already out. Although he is holding, you know, decently far back, ready to get out if need be. Yeah, I mean, look, Lau already has the uh, the full over there. And I think that's going to put him in a position that he's going to be totally happy to, uh, to use this one. Especially when they picked up Dork nice and early. So as long as this uh, sack out of Connor doesn't kill him, no, it doesn't look like it will. 
It, I think it's a full four man. Yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. I thought that uh, that the free show players were still, but no, free show sends the four man. They aren't able to kill Lau, which means we're gonna see a Viaduct classic, a product classic, ladies and gentlemen, the forward hole. Good luck breaking this free show. They do have the power to attempt to break this forward hold. I mean, this map is so brutal when you're in this position just because all these choke points that can move out last can be kept so close with the slip or spam. Does look to be slightly successful. They get two players out. Both of them get cleaned up very quickly, though. And, I mean, even Dork on the Pyro there went so low. I mean, it's, it's tragic for Freak Show there because if they even killed, like, one, two players... Uh, then the forward hold's broken. You can walk straight on out to the point. But just with the design of this map, there's only three ways you can get out of spawn unless you use your Uber, which they have done. They come straight on through, but they drop Daz in the middle of the Uber, which is really quite rough for them. They are picking up a couple of players, though. Riot going down, so does Aisha. That's going to put them in a pretty good spot here. They're able to push straight on out and get quite a bit of damage. They clean up Cookie as well, and Paulson. It's only Lau and Matt. That, uh, I mean... They, did they lose anyone? No, I don't think they lost anyone there. Fane was on 2 HP and was juking all of Paulson's shots with the skill stick out. So, you know, props to him. <laughs> Got to be infuriating. And now it looks like they're trying to initiate a forward hold of their own. However, uh, already the rest of the team has come out of mid, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. I... 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 <laughs> 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 so what happened you, there? Man was the entire team decided to break out of middle, right? Because that seemed to not be guarded by Freak Show. Unfortunately for them, the soldier was waiting for that and was actually sitting on top of the awning. And as soon as they walked out, he dropped down onto the medic. The rest of the team collapsed onto 30 and Freak Show just cleaned all of them up. I, I mean, I, I see Zobal messaging in the chat. They're saying, I blinked, where did the red team go? I agree, <laughs> man. I blinked, where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're able to come straight on out onto the point. They actually cap it back. They get the Uber out of Miramu as well, and they kept Lau alive. So that's where the red team went. They they came back around and they uh, they turned it back into a, a pretty good fight. For Forty nine seconds left on the clock for uh, for thirty. They are trying to fight this one, but they lose Matt and Paulson in rather quick succession on uh, different ends of the map. And uh, and it looks like Freak Show is going to be able to cap that one. However. Lau has a grand old Uber advantage. And Daz actually goes out extremely low there. He's going to be chased by Riot here. Riot looks like he might go down. Does manage to get Dork at the very least, which is good for the push. 30 is already on the point here, taking a, not too much space, but I mean at least getting the cap time, which is exactly what they want, considering they only have 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I mean, 30 seconds left on the clock, you're, you're pretty content. However, getting four steps, probably not what you're looking for, even if you do pick up three players or is it four? three three players um in that that sack that they picked up that puts them in the okay spot but they're, they're i mean they have to be really cautious of this uber ad and down is behind as well he gets a shot onto matt nice and early he hits another one but it's not quite enough to make it happen matt looking like he's gonna need to be able to back out but he does actually go down losing a dead man hit that makes it really hard to defend against this especially when the uber is coming forward against you that Uber is fading on the point, though. They're on overtime with a minute 44 left on the clock for Freak Show. I mean, if I was 30 here, if I was Soiree, I'd just be bailed. Build up some Uber ad and walk back in. Yeah, yep, which it does bailed like here. It. Yep, Fantastic. definitely a good plan for them because, I mean, in that situation, they did... It kind of didn't really matter what they did. As long as they got overtime on the point, now it just comes down to you pull out a fight, you have Uber advantage. All you need is one clean cap and you've won the round so looks to be exactly what they're doing they have 80 percent uber already getting forward on the point freak show is going to have to play out of their minds here to prevent this from going the way of 30. yeah 30 definitely in a spot they want to be in here however losing cookie is going to put them on a bit of a back foot but they use the uber straight on through anyway just looking to clean up enough players to be able to cap this back down goes down nice and early in that dork is on the point he goes down as well daz does as well fane as well and the point is capped back and 30 finally taking their first round of the evening pretty convincingly as well that was a really good showing for them they really settled down on things prevented themselves from losing loud too much in these sort of interim chaos stages and that really went the good way for them and they ended up getting you know capping with a minute still to cap for freak show so you know maybe a change in the wind I, I, I mean the wind has changed and my face is stuck I'll tell you that for free <laughs> we said Paulson and Cookie very eager with the frag, so is uh, so is Riot. They all bomb forward pretty, pretty, pretty thick. 
and in fact, the rest of the team is there to follow up. They clean up Miramu and down nice and easily in that uh, lower cliff area. Dork pushing forward, looking to see if he can get a frag onto the Matt finally collecting back to his med. A little bit overextended there, I'd almost say, but didn't die, so mustn't be that bad. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Dodie really showing why they were the, thou, the favorites of the series. Uh, just taking a pretty dominant first cap here. Um, and giving a very large uber advantage for the hold as well. Unfortunately for them, huge four-man set coming through on the side of Freak Show. Does pick up Paulson, doing a decent amount of damage. Miramu is, goes out down, <laughs> actually. Doesn't manage to get out in time. So, you know, him and Daz go down. However, all the rest of 30 has died as well. It's just Riot. And he dies uh, now as well. Yeah, I didn't think Riot was going to be getting out of that one, man. I, I mean... Very, very well played out of um, Freak Show there. The only thing that went wrong was losing their uh, Which, tragic, I know, but yeah, they're replaceable. <laughs> of course, especially considering that the point was capped by 30, giving them the faster respawns. So giving them, you know, maybe not a usable advantage, but a little bit of advantage is always nice. Yeah, there's, there's some sort of term for this that I can't quite remember. As these frags start coming in. <laughs> Pour some cookie down here. on this. Chat. Paulson and Cookie going down on the side of uh, of 30 for Fane only on the side of uh, Freak Show. So that means Freak Show able to get forward here, prevent 30 from actually edging that cap out and uh, and collecting that. One. However, 30 once again all six players up, very keen to take this. At I Show going down though, Connor able to catch him out, uh, with a little bit of a spam rocket with a bit of damage assist from Daz. There. That's going to be great. Lao eating a huge amount of damage, having to back out uh, along with uh, a good chunk of the rest of his team. That's going to slow down that push even more while the timer keeps on running down. They've now got a 30 second advantage on the side of Freak Show. They're looking a little bit more dominant as we come into this. Yeah, definitely a bit more favorable for them. The Uber has come out early from 30 here, so it's going to be a little bit better on the side of Freak Show. I have no teams really getting any kind of frags on this. Point cap the way of 30, and looks like they're trying to get even more time on it. They are going to be able to close out this cap. However, both teams have now sent their aggressive players, and Daz has gone down. It's the first kill of the fight. Now, Connor, so things are looking pretty good for 30 here. Uh, yeah, including Paulson picking up Miramu in that lower cliff area. <laughs> Cookie getting absolutely skyboxed with his ragdoll. Um, Miramu still down now, Lau on about 40%. I mean, it's pretty good for 30. They keep running this time down. They'll be back to even very quickly. Yeah, for sure. Like you said, they've got the Uber advantage in now, so it's now Freak Show's chance to really get something done. They're going super aggressively into this. They just want to pick up this cap, cement their lead a bit further. However, 30 is responding very quickly to keep them off it. No frags exchanged by either team so far, but a pretty decent situation if you wanted to see some aggressive sack plays coming out of Freak Show. And finally, they are doing it. Both soldiers being sent in on Lau, both being cleaned up. However, really good defense from 30. And they're going to keep hold on both the point and their medic's life. Dude, Lau was standing on one of those soldiers' heads for a moment. I have no idea how they even ended up in that scenario. But Lau surviving by the skin of his... And ladies and gentlemen, it's yet another... I, I wish I could do a drum roll noise, but uh, it's a forward hold. <laughs> the noise suppression stops me, otherwise you would hear my keyboard as well. Pyro has come out, it has looked like Aisho dies in this, as well as Fan and Dork, so at the very least they're going to be able to break this. Right going down as well, so they haven't managed to break the forward hold. Pretty convincingly, pretty happy with that one. Unfortunately, going out with just the scout in the demo, the Uber does come out, it's so much better for the side of 30, if they even decide to use it. No, they just oh want to pull out of it. Oh my god, Lau managing to survive that one, but they do lose Matt in that lower cliff area. That lower cliff area, dangerous spot to be down, managing to survive that one as well, despite being right up in their faces for uh, like a good 20 odd seconds while trying to kill Matt there. Um, but they have gotten that spawn uh, Matt up now, so they'll probably just look for an entry here. Lau taking a bit of damage before he can even really get in, which is going to put him in a dangerous spot. They do use the Uber nice and early, they send their demo man through. Riot and oh, Cookie managing to clean up quite a few gamers behind them as well. It's just Miramu and Daz. They're stuck outside of spawn because Aisho just sitting on the props, sitting on those barrels and, uh, and stopping them from walking back in. That was huge.
that's what that means is there's going to be no uber for the refight coming out of freak show here they're going to have to be getting on this and win this without any uber charge of course it's probably going to be no uber from lao either he's only on 40 percent but i mean he's going to be able to get it at least sometime during the fight even if they go right now unless they kill him yeah they're sending soldiers through trying to get some kills they do pick up riot and matt which is a pretty good combo i mean taking that demo man out we've discussed this earlier that is like Fantastic, you're absolutely happy. He's the main <laughs> damage dealer. Speaking of which, look at Cookie manages to trade for Daz on the other side. So that's going to slow him down a little bit. The Uber is almost ready to go on 30. That was honestly a disgusting fight for Cookie. He got in there, slipped behind the team, did such good damage to Daz, then caught a pipe, closed in to get the next meat shot, and then got caught with another pipe with Daz killing himself. So, really, even when Death Daz doesn't stop hitting pipes. Uh, well, I've been talking, the Uber has come out of 30. No Uber yet for Freak Show, but they have managed to kite this. But just as soon as the point gets capped, it's going to be won by 30. And they already have so many players all over it. Yeah, 30 looking a little bit grim for a moment there when Miramu hit a fat arrow on Fane on the mid, uh, on the point there. But uh, not quite enough. 30 able to take a second round, evening it back up. It's now two for two, ladies and gents, and this round is going to take it. I mean, 30 definitely wasn't out of the fight. They've proved that. Now they actually have all the momentum. Either way, Elmo's going to be right that it was a 3-2 scoreline, and, you know, whoever wins this one is the one who wins the round. I mean, look, this uh, this map, I mean, even if 30 loses it, it's not the end, but it would be absolutely tragic. Oh, my lord, Fane with a massive midi onto Lau. Uh, while we were talking, there was some crazy fighting going on, but it does look like 30's ended up on the tail end of it, not looking super great. I show managing to pick up Mirumu, though, to actually even that Uber. Actually, give him a bit of an ad. Yeah, they're going to have advantage here, and the point's about to be capped by Freak Show as well. Of course, they're going to delay it at least long enough for Miramu to spawn, so that's not really going to come into things. But I mean, at the very least, 20% there, that, that's definitely usable from the side of 30 here. So somehow they actually managed to come out of that first fight in the positive. Yeah, and I mean, Cookie's not even running his, uh, his you know, rights registered uh, Force and 8. As we see Connor <laughs> with a nice big bomb directly on the Lao, huge damage, and Riot, no, sorry. Fane follows it up with a frag on the left. As we see some other players go behind on the other side, they're able to take out quite a few players, but they don't manage to catch Miram. So, Lau and Matt only spawning now. They're going to be staring down about 70% dis Dangerous stuff for 30 here, even if they do have a little bit of time out on the point. Yeah, they're not yet in the time, period of time ad where you're sort of comfortable losing the point here at the stage that they lose it. They just at least, at the very least, have to make sure that Freak Show uses here so that they're not going to roll this point cap into a more solid hold. However, they are holding pretty far back and it does look like Freak Show is getting a little, quite a bit of cap on the point. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show have been showing their ability to sort of edge out the point and just collect it for free. Matt eating a fat old hit of damage in the air. They do get the force with this four-man sack. I just wanted to call out that one. I was watching him fly forward, and he just stopped mid-air when he took a, a... I think it was a pipe out of, uh, out of Daz. There's a fantastic play out of 30 here, because they're going to be able to go back to this with a actual better player advantage, since these spawners on the side of Freak Show aren't going to be able to get to the point for another little while. So an aggressive play from 30 is going to be able to take a lot of early space, which they have done, taking some time on the point. Dork going down as well is just a big benefit for them. Down going down as well, but now comes the sack wave right on top of Lau, and he has to force there, which is finally going the way of Freak Show. However, this leapfrog is going to benefit 30, considering they have a long, better time on the point. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be better for uh, for 30 here, but they are staring down 50-50 uh, disadvantage, um, which is dangerous news, and I think they've actually chosen, like, okay, this is probably a bit too dangerous for us. We know that they're pretty good at breaking these forward holes. They backed off a little bit. They've let them get out, but uh, we do see Freak Show. They were pretty ready for a forward hold there. They actually ran the pyro all the way out. So just looking at Paulson behind here, he's been found by a scout, don't know what that might turn out as. Daz has actually gone in with the Uber now to get a lot of big aggression coming out of Freak Show. They managed to get Paulson behind, they managed to pick up Cookie for Fane and Connor. Uh, they're taking time on point, but I mean, still big advantage on Lau. Yeah, I mean, Lau's going to be able to turn this Uber back around. They're, uh, they're ready to fight on the... They're getting quite forward, bit of damage on the Daz, but not quite enough to really make anything happen. Dork going for a really deep push, trying to get that force onto Lau. 
but unable to really make it happen. Lau actually goes back for a pack, and they're ready to fight again. And they're uh, they're looking at 50% on the other side. Miramu only sitting there with uh, about 60 now. If they get aggressive as we speak, they do actually use their... They come straight on through. Matt's there really deep as well, but uh, Miramu was able to flee. Miramu running for his absolute... In the meantime, we do see Fane actually going behind and cleaning up Cookie. Connor's back there as well, taking quite a bit of attention back there. Fane coming through with yet another frag on Aisho. Fane finally going down. Uh, Lau dying in the middle of all that fighting as well. So it's actually going to look really good for Freak Show. That, that was an unbelievable play from Freak Show there. They pulled Miramu out extremely quickly, sent Daz, Connor, and Fane forward. The Uber came out of Lau, and they just basically, Daz went down, but Connor and Fane just sat behind waiting for the Uber to fade. Then the perfect time, and Connor came with a beautiful bomb, picked up Lau, and just Connor and him, Connor and Fane just went wombo combo on the entire team, picked up all the players they need to for such a dominant hold now for Freak Show. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show's got to be totally happy. That's it. If you're on 30, I don't think you're stressing too hard. You've only got 13 seconds left on the clock and about two minutes to play with to make it happen. Uh, that's it. They've thrown four players yet again. Nice and deep on the mirror. They did actually get the force yet again. Uh, Matt actually going ahead and uh, just destroying himself to, to get himself that earlier spawn back in, uh, back in with the rest of his... But, so, are they going to have to break a forward... They do look actually like they're going to have to do that. How they do have Uber to work with. I mean, this is pretty rough for Freak Show now because if they lose this and they have full Uber disadvantage, then I mean that cap's going to be basically the win for 30. Yeah, I mean 30's totally happy to to use here as long as they pick up a couple of plays. They get quite a bit of damage onto Daz as well, cleaning him up before they even have to use. Fane stuck behind as well. That's two frags before the Uber even comes out. They're onto that point nice and early. They're probably not even going to have to use unless they really, really need to. They do end up using on the point, cleaning up Dork. They're deep onto Connor on that cliff area, but they don't look like they're going to be able to make it happen. 13 seconds left on the clock. They're counting them down now. 46 seconds on Freak Show. Freak Show coming in. Very, very eager to make this one happen. Five seconds left on the clock. 90% on Miro. The fight is happening. Connor coming in for a bit of a problem. Daz does go down nice and early. Down managing to clean up Cookie and Paulson though. Freak Show looking pretty dominant here as the Uber comes out. He manages to clean up yet another with right. That is some unreal defense out of Freak Show. Honestly, Freak Show had to go for the riskiest play they could. It worked out for them. They did manage to clap it. But, I mean, it's overtime already, and Lau managed to get out of that alive, which means he's got a very fat Uber advantage. And so far, 30 has been succeeding on these pushes. Huge impression coming out of Freak Show, though, trying to clean up these early players. Paulson going down. That's going to screw, screw up the push a little bit at the very least. Maybe slow things down, but Fane dying as well is going to even things out. I mean, 30's got this Uber out, and they're so keen to use it. They're getting quite a bit of damage deep as they go. They have used the Uber, and they flash as many players as they possibly can keep, as many alive. It makes some sense, but they are going to have to defeat these players because they didn't really get any frags during that Uber. It's a very scrappy fight, but 30 comes out on top. The scoreline going 3-2 to 30. Uh, any predictions yeah. real quick? Uh, I don't Elmer? know. I mean, I'm just going to continue to be biased towards... Uh... Freak Show, I'll just say, yeah, Freak Show will win you too. All right, I'm happy with that one, and now onto the first one. Absolutely, map three of the Osport season 33 grand finals. We're on to process one map either way. Freak Show taking this one a little bit slowly, playing very passively on their side of the. They do actually send Fane straight on through. Fane getting quite a bit of damage off. Door cleaning up Paulson in the background. Connor actually jumping straight on through and cleaning up Lau, which triggers a bit of a backup out of uh, Freak Show here, trying not to lose their mid. They do lose down. Cookie getting in very, very deep. He finally goes down. So it's just Daz and Dork, along with their med, able to push straight on back in. Matt, the only player left alive. He's so low, he can't do anything, and Dork just pistols him down. It was a wild mid, but uh, Freak Show is in the lead. It was fantastically played by Freak Show there. The soldiers trickled in right on top of the medic. Perfect timing. Managed to get him down. And then the second it came time where, you know, 30 realized, oh, our medic's dead. We have our players. It's time for the resack. They jumped in right onto two scouts already near the medic. Set up ahead of time. Really fantastic play from them. Really unfortunate for Matt there to beef his jump right at the last second and miss the pack. Uh, you know, if he watches back, you know, at least he knows we've seen that. So... Uh, however, at least for Freak Show at the moment, they're going to be able to convert that into a quite an easy second push and an Uber ad push into last, which looks like it's going right now. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not oh, surprised that oh, Cookie no. snipes Miramu. Cookie dropping Miramu as he pushes on through. That is absolutely fantastic for 30 here. They only have to kill the players, but they forgot about down on the point. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so we have that push through. Absolutely shut down by the Cookie Sniper. And then... They just decide that, oh yeah, of course, they're going to be coming for our medic, trying to force us, prevent us from being able to roll them back, and just completely forget about the point. That's unreal. Down was able to stand on that point for like 15 seconds before they even reacted, man. That's crazy. All right, new mid, new game. Let's keep going. <laughs> um, we see Riot and Paulson with a nice big double bomb. Riot just taking some attention. So does Paul. Just trying to take that high ground above the point. Not really going for anything too crying. Aisho takes a lot of damage and does have to back off, which is going to trigger a nice big bomb out of Connor. Connor unable to really make anything happen. So does Fane. Fane comes through for a bit of a jump as well. Goes down for his... Did get Lao down very low, but not really able to make anything happen. Uh, and with uh, Wright and Paulson down as well as Aisho, that's going to trigger a push straight on back in from Frito. Very back and forth so far. Lao's down too low to really even stay in either. Um, so they're going to be back and straight on out. It's just Cookie and Matt um, and Riot having just spawned. So it does actually look like Freak Show win the mid, but uh, both teams have Uber. Yeah, I mean, good job for 30. They didn't lose the medic this time. No Uber disadvantage, so they're not going to be able to push straight back to last this time. However, 30 picking up another mid. Sorry, Freak Show picking up another mid. Definitely going to be good for them. They're going to be pretty confident sitting here. The round up, of course, still 26 minutes left on the clock, so not really coming into play yet. Uh, as they're trying to get forward a little bit forward onto the second point, now they can kind of get some sacks through, see what they can pull off now that they have a sort of comfortable position on mid. And for anyone who's, who's really only watching this, uh, you know, for the first time, or, you know, you're pretty new to competitive TF, this is it. Um, 5 CP, you sit there, you wait for something to happen. Uh, that said, with the timer running down, only 26 minutes left, only. Uh, <laughs> it is kind of, kind of 30s push here to, to make something happen, but they got so much time to play with. I think we'll uh, we'll probably be here whispering sweet nothings at, uh, at our precious viewers for a while. Well, we say that, but already Freak Show is getting super aggressive here. The medic is already outside of Sewer, and that's actually forcing all the 30 players really far back. They don't want to really contest this forward ground a lot. Daz going down super low, does get healed up. I mean, with all the space being given to Freak Show, you kind of expect them to get something here, but 30 is doing such a good job at keeping them back and not really allowing them to get in. Yeah, I mean, 30 really played that well. Like, no frags on either side, but they were able to just, like, bully them out. Um, and keep running time. I mean, they can they can afford to stalemate this for a while. Like I said, 26 minutes, 25 and 30 seconds uh, left on the clock. Uh, they don't care. This is fine. Exactly. Now, of course, for people who don't know, there's two actual round timers. You see the big one of the map time left at the top and the round time left just below that at 8 minutes and 16 seconds right now. And uh, if that goes down, then it actually resets to another mid-fight. So there is a limit to how long you can stay mad on it. Doesn't look like that's going to happen here anyway. Fane has gone down, and if I'm right, 30 is going to take this pretty aggressively. Already onto Daz in sewer, getting him a little bit low here. He does manage to get out alive, right going down for it. Cookie getting down, however, is going to allow them to maintain that player advantage enough at least for Paulson to get a second. Yeah, I mean, Fane only just spawned, so they're able to push in here knowing that they have a little bit of play. But the Ubers do get used on both sides, Lau having to flash at least one player in the middle of that one, so it's actually a little bit worse for them. Aisho in very, very deep, trying to get a bit of damage on the meta at the tail end of that. Aisho does actually get caught in the middle as well and goes down to Connor. So it's looking very good for Freak Show. They're able to put back on through the choke here knowing they have that little bit of player add two players it's enough three players now as they clean up cookie on sec and that's going to give them all they need to capture this second point and they've put the uh the 30 team in their last they uh they've, they've actually dork's already in he's in that upper area already getting that high and the rest of his team following up behind matt taking quite a bit of damage Duke, dork is what did they just happen again again there were, play there were lots of players alive on the side of 30 that could have gone there and contested that, but I just guess they'd prefer to stay in sport. Now, actually, this is really interesting, because last time these two teams played, this was a recurring trend where one of the teams... Wait, no, it wasn't between these two teams. It was between 30 and um, the other team they fought. Yeah, the Doom Dimension, where 
the Doom Dimension themselves weren't playing the point as much, and Freak Show, sorry, 30 were having a really great time just kiting them in spawn. Looks like it's very much a different story with Freak Show. They're catched, caught on to that, and they're playing the point very hard. But of course, another mid is going on while I'm waffling. While you're waffling, boy, Fane just jumped onto Lau, who surfed his rocket and then arrowed him to death. Some unreal play out of Lau to keep himself alive and his team still playing. They've even got a tiny bit of ad as this mid keeps on going. Riot is down, the one player ad for the side of Freak Show. There's, there's some really wild fighting going on here. Fane in for a big old bomb, but he actually goes. I show and Cookie able to make that guy just vanish mid -air. And it looks like Freak Show are going to chalk that one up to a loss and back on. I, I wasn't trying to like put down what you were saying, man, but there was some crazy stuff happening. <laughs> absolutely, I realize, you know, I'm talking about last, last, and meanwhile, this is going absolutely crazy. Big bomb coming in from Riot and Paulson, actually, both of them going down here. Um, that's actually giving a two player ad to Freak Show. I'd be surprised if they didn't decide to push this, and they're just walking through choke with it. Yeah, I mean, they're totally happy to, you know, take... Hey, look, uh, two-player out, I'll take... And now they're pushing straight on through. They've gotten quite a bit of damage on both Aisho and Cookie. Aisho getting the pack. Cookie getting a mini pack, but it's not really enough to keep him super, super happy. Aisho's still poking for the, the damage there. But uh, the rest of their players have spawned, and I think it's going to be a reset on the second point. Um, but now, I mean, two rounds down, if you're 30, I mean, you're starting to feel a little bit of heat from the fire. Exactly, I mean there's still 20 minutes left, so at this stage we're probably not going to see anything crazy, no one's going to try to get something done too much, Cookie's actually managed to sneak quite through far IT there, Connor going down in a sack, but I mean, yeah, definitely at this stage, if you're freak shot at the very least, you've got to be super comfortable with not forcing the issue, you know, you don't have to make something happen, you can afford to sit on mid for quite a while and just embrace the stalemate, because you are two rounds up. However, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Uh, 30 does look like they want to get something happening here. That is Fane going down, and since Connor went down earlier, they're going to be able to take so much space on this mid and force Freak Show all the way back to their own second. So, you know, really good back and forth from 30 here, uh, from a two-man sack, back to their second, back to holding mid. So, you know, pretty good keeping the game going. Yeah, Riot went in for a bit of a sack there as well. Wasn't really able to make anything major happen other than a bit, little bit of damage, but... Uh... He's going to be in the respawn queue. Uh, not for too long, though. He's already back up now, as I talk about. So uh, I think it'll just be yet another respawn, and we'll just be waiting for something to happen. I think, uh, like you said, I mean, Free Show, they, they, don't, they don't need to make anything happen. They can afford to sit around, so I think they'll be kind of hesitant to, to be sacking players here, especially when they're sort of on the back foot in terms of this round. Yeah, definitely. You, the last thing you want to do is to lose too many players, get pushed back to your last, and then lose it all because you just weren't patient enough. However, the sack does come out from 30 here. They lose to Cookie and Riot there, which is going to prompt another push out of Freak Show, most likely. They already are poking through this choke, but not really taking things too fast. Paulson as well fighting Fane in IT, deciding to back out there. And the push has come through from Freak Show. A lot of space being taken on this mid. Probably going to force them out. Getting Ice Show as well, actually. That's now a three player advantage, although spawners are coming through. So, nothing they can really convert off of. I mean, they pushed them straight on back to their second here, and they actually look very keen to make it happen. Connor and Fane coming through the choke with Dads following up with quite a bit of damage. Fane getting so much damage! Including a little bit of a chip shot from down to actually take out Lau with full Uber. A drop out of Lau. Paulson is behind though, so I think that's kind of 30's only saving grace here, is if he can pick up that med, that might stop the push just long enough, but Paulson tries to stop the second point, he's not able to collect the med, the point's going to get capped, it's only three players left alive on the last, including Lau, Aisho, and Cookie, however, they've gotten a few more spawns, the Uber is on the point, that's preventing the cap in the meantime, we're going to have to see if they're able to stop the cap this time, they have lost so many players, it's just Cookie and Lau, Cookie going down, and the point going the way of free show. This is, I mean, they're showing this, they're, they're very keen. It's a show and it's freaky, that's all I can say. <laughs> so I had a freak show here. They're now three rounds up, 19 minutes left. I mean, they've been really chewing through 30 so far. Their patience really paying off in these sort of in-between plays. But now we go into another mid. 30 really has to win this one and probably pretty decisively to get themselves back into the game. I mean, they've definitely got enough time to play with, with almost 19 minutes left on the clock. But, uh, I mean, if, if, I, if they were feeling the heat before, they're definitely feeling it now. Three rounds down. This mid looking uh, a bit like the other. A bit more high ground for the side of 30. 
Looks like Freak Show very keen to play it. A little bit slow. Sending Connor in, following up with Fane to clean up Lau nice and early. They haven't actually backed Miramu out either. And with four players left alive on 30... I mean, they're going to be throwing themselves at Miramu, but he seems pretty content. He's just playing with both of his scouts in his demo. I mean, both scouts around him. Man. Anything jumping at him is, is going to die <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> Including Paulson, who bombs in here. Does actually... Holy cow, he cleans up both scouts. And Matt goes in, hits a pipe to get the fourth. That's... What the f This is why Paulson's around. Because, you know, once in a blue moon, he's going to pop in, get those two frags, force it. And now we've turned what could have been a really another really disastrous round 430 into a situation that's actually really redeemable for them they have the uber advantage they might not have matt yet and they've lost i show but they're gonna get those spawns soon and definitely sooner than freak show can push their second and then they're perfectly posed to try to get this through and get some more momentum going for them unfortunately here's connor trying to end that i think he thinks a little bit better of it he sees that the, <laughs> yeah. the meds got you know the other five players around him and just goes oh oh boy <laughs> and uh, in the process of uh, attempting to leave, he did actually go down. So that's going to get a bit of a push out of 30 here. They do clean up Dork as well on the flank there. Cookie picking him up in that IT area. And that uh, that one scout down, I mean, that definitely gives Riot an entry here. It looks like he's kind of keen to get through. He's getting a buff. He might be going for it now. does look like the rest of the team's there ready to push with him, though. So I'm unsure. It might be a push. It might be a sack. I don't know. It's even Ubers now. I feel like he's just trying to get in without the sticky bombs taking away all his buff. A uh, really good placement from Daz here. Now both, finally they are in. Paulson going for the huge bomb. Gets completely floated. Uh, <laughs> wanting a record for the amount of airtime that a soldier can get there. <laughs> Assisted by the lovely two scouts from Freak Show. Uh, that's going to... That's going to be the end of 30's attempt to get something going on this point, at least until he respawns. Freakshow, however, not really feeling any pressure to return in kind with any kind of sack. They can just happily sit here with their three rounds up and wail away as much time as they want. Yeah, I mean, we've almost halved the timer and uh, three rounds up. I mean, this is like, if you're Freakshow, you are exactly where you want to be. Um, you know, th there's enough time for, for 30 to turn this back around with quite some ease, but... Uh, they're definitely, they're definitely going to be feeling it. And I think you can see that because they're throwing soldiers uh, in, trying to find an opening uh, a bit more aggressively than we were seeing in, in the earlier round. Uh, which, I mean, it's to be expected, you know? They're, they're feeling it, man. Paulson, unfortunately, uh, messing up his jump a little bit there. I think they're trying to send Paulson in for a big distraction and then send Riot in afterwards, maybe, uh, for the cleanup once both scouts are shooting at Paulson. I don't think they're quite pulling it off like expected so far. Um, or maybe they're just wanting to send Paulson in to throw his life away. Nope, there they go in. Riot already on top of the medic there. So close to taking him down, but unfortunately oh. does just die while getting Miramu down to 20 HP. And Miramu with... Uh you know, a sack of steel, just totally happy to, to sit on that health. Doesn't even use Zuba. Um, both soldiers down, however, they did clean up door uh, on the tail end of that one. I didn't actually see how it happened, but it did stymie the push. It stopped that uh, that attempt out of uh, Freak Show, because I think they're, they're happy to only take the good fights. They don't need to play any sort of, like, dangerous -y one. Um, so they're pretty happy to just wait for two-player ride before they do anything. Exactly. Uh, now that we have seen 30 finally run out of patience, all their players are bullying in very hard. Cookie going down, however, is going to force the ball to pull right back out again. Fantastic defense from Freak Show. And again, Freak Show is just, like you said, just sitting there. They don't have to do anything apart from wait for that committal from 30 because it's now down to 14 minutes and they still have three rounds up. Yeah, I mean, look, even though we're sort of talking about how much Freak Show can, can afford to sit rest on their laurels, Neither team can afford a really bad fight here. Um, like, if you're Freak Show and you lose this this fight, that's around the way of uh, 30, and then they have that momentum. They're able to keep converting that. As they send both soldiers through, they get quite a lot of damage onto Daz, but really nothing else to speak on. Although they damage Dork and Fane as well. They're both out of that fight as well. They clean up Fane. That's one player out. That gives them just enough. They do have Cookie nice and deep onto the med as well. Down, taking quite a bit of damage. He's having a back. Daz, Ooh, a little bit out of his... Did drop the... What? <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> that, was a, that was a fantastically scrappy fight by 30, you know, just doing so much damage, getting used, abusing the position all they could. And it finally looked like Freak Show was just going to give up, and then just as Miramu was about to walk out that door, the crossbow kill from across the map from Lau. That is just unreal stuff. And, and this is what I was saying. Okay. Freak Show can't afford to lose that fight because now, um, one round on the board, they brought it back to only a two round depth, but 30 has the momentum now because that, sh that stuff stings, you know, and, and the mental game, I think it's important here. The mental game, especially when your mid just got dropped by the event, that's, that's <laughs> brutal. <laughs> oh man, back into another mid, however, it's going to be pretty important for Freak Show to win this one and get momentum back in their hands because, I mean, the mental game, like we said, is important and whichever team does have momentum typically is going to see a little bit of a better time. Big bomb coming up from Riot. Here, bit of a fake out, doing a little bit of damage, not doing too much of a committal. Both teams really not wanting to give this one up. Yeah, we do see Connor on to Lau. No one's really there to meet him. He does end up going down, so does Fang. Dork manages to take out Riot. And we do see a pause. Now, this happened 90 seconds from now, as far as uh, as far as we're concerned as, as the viewers. Because we're watching with a little bit of delay. But, how can we see this one go? And I think Paulson's going to kill Dork. He's going to die to down, and then Matt has to kill Daz, or, or it goes quite badly for his team, I think. Yeah, I think uh, that's very much what we're going to see here. I mean, so far, 30 definitely has the advantage in this situation. I mean, Dork could, of course, come back, hit the 50 on Paulson and start turning things around a little bit. But, I mean, so far, Mimru's already basically out of choke. It seems like it's going to be a down dares retreat here after killing Paulson. And uh, really, the mid's probably going to go the way of 30, which is exactly what they're looking for, because that's going to put them in a pretty solid position to recreate what happened last round. No, I mean, geez, I, I, I'm interested in what this pause is, because 90 seconds from now, I mean, it'll be after the mid fight. Well, uh, it could be a very quick round from 30 and then attack force. Oh, man. That that would be absolutely wild. If 30 has picked up another round that quick, I mean, that one round deficit, mm, 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 you'd be happy with that one. Much more likely to be a technical problem, though, from one of the players, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, almost you certainly. Know, <laughs> good, good old Australian internet. <laughs> it's definitely uh, exactly what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, don't get me started. Um, <laughs> I got Michael started the other day. And <laughs> oh, jeez. You can't be doing that, man. You can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> While we're in this pause... Internet in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we are actually significantly worse than Kenya. <laughs> While we're in this pause, Elmo, is there anything major that you've seen so far that uh, that'd be worth talking about while we've got a little bit of time in the middle here? Uh, I mean, I feel like Dork and da I mean, and Down. God, there's too many D players uh, playing really well. Like they're cleaning up so well. They're just like putting Riot and Paulson in the dumpster. And like, apart from like that meme kill on their medic, it's like they pretty much kept them alive and kept them from forcing constantly. And that's been like you know the big difference. Because yeah, they've only been like a little bit better at mids. It's just they've been dominating their sacks and basically just never dying. Compared to Cookie once again, died pretty much. Doesn't have a positive KD again while that is permanently alive. Dawkins down, stepping up. Be funny if Paulson doesn't kill him here. Be quite unfortunate for them. Well, right. I mean, I think we'll be. We'll be oh, actually, we've oh, come back oh, live immediately. Paulson and Dork. <laughs> Paulson takes out Dork. Dork. Sorry, down takes out Paulson. And uh, we do see Miramu and the rest of his team actually back on out. Uh, so that one gives us a little bit of time here. We do see Aisho very, very deep. He's pretty keen to get a bit of damage off. Matt getting a bit of damage, throwing some stickies Miramu's way. A lot of damage coming out of a nice big bomb out of Connor there, who does actually get out without dying immediately, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, because he, he jumped into like four players. So... That's, uh, that gives us a little bit of time now to, to calm down and figure out what exactly happened after that pull. <laughs> well, I mean, what is happening right now is Paulson's going for the sack 30, looking to play this super aggressively. The Uber has come out, however, from Miramu, so they're looking to exchange this pretty aggressively. It's going to be a bit better in the way of 30. They've got their players pretty far deep, but I mean, quite a lot of them are low as well. Matt's only on 20 HP, Riot just got arrowed up. 
Uh, Fang going down for it is going to give a better situation now for 30, and probably Freak Show is going to have to pull out of this one. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show looking like they're really playing on the back foot here. They do actually get most of their players out alive. That is on 30 health. However, so we're uh, we're going to see a little bit of an even uber reset. But you do see Dork up on Heavy. That's going to slow them down. They're not really going to be able to push into that very, very easily. Down takes out Paulson as well. Slowing him down right. Taking out Dork, but down cleaning up right. Oh, there's the pause and there's Miramu. That's the pause. Miramu DC. That is absolutely tragic. Now, Lau and is the rest of his be... team have a huge ad, but... Uh, Are they going to do I... the gentleman's move and not push? I don't know, man. Until, until Miramu gets his Uber back? It oh. does look like it from the chat. We do see Matt saying, chat, look, 10 minutes and 54. I think that's them saying, look, we'll wait until then, and then we're going to be pushed. Because um, Miramu disconnecting there is absolutely tragic because they were they were even Ubers neck and neck. Um, yeah, and it does look like they've been gentlemen about it. They've, yeah, they've they waited exactly for Miramu to get 40 seconds from his, his reconnect. And, boy, yeah. oh boy. Yeah, oh. uh, <laughs> very gentleman move there. And uh, it does look like 30 is making good on their promise. They are moving in for their push now. It is 10 minutes 54 and they're really inside lobby. Uh, but, you know, at this stage, the sentry gun has been set up. The heavy is also up, so it's going to be a very hard point to push. Of course, just no chance that Freak Show does, isn't comfortable for stalemating this for a longer period of time. Yeah, so Freak Show, I mean, they're, they're happy to stalemate this. And, and obviously, I mean, um, despite sort of being on the back foot here, we do actually see 30 just totally happy to, you know, all right, let's even it back out and it'll be fine. Um, run a bit of the timer down, especially when that timer matters more to them. It's pretty classy. Out of it. But uh, I, I've been saying in previous casts over the, the last little bit, you know, when you've got people in their last, you only need to get lucky once, whereas they need to get lucky every time. So you can keep throwing little pushes in until something works. Um, and I think... That, uh, that looks to be what 30's keen to do here. They've got Riot up on Sniper. He does actually go down. Bit of an aggressive peek through the second door there, that, that ramp area. Um, so that's going to send him back onto the second point, and, and they're just going to wait it out. Yep. Actually, uh, I'm very much liking the sentry position on point because of how forward these teams are holding these chokes. That's going to prevent any kind of backwards plays in. But getting Cookie down as well, actually, the F4 side of Freak Show, that's a very nice pick for them. Um, well, I'm assuming that wasn't the sniper, right? No, no, Cookie, uh, he got a little <laughs> bit too close to the door one, I think. Yeah, there we go. Of course, nothing too much they're going to be able to push out from. I mean, you need a pretty decent advantage to push out from last, especially when both teams have Uber. So it's really up to 30 to make something happen here because not too much of a chance Freak Show is going to be able to do something. But then again, there is a sentry gun, which is just going to make anything so much harder. Yeah, I mean, the sentry is dangerous. They do probably want to spam that out before they push, but, I mean, I think... Oh, here comes the spam, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, I think uh, whatever push they end up getting here, it's going to be off the back of something uh, very small um, for 30. So they're, they're going to be wanting to push, like, almost immediately. So that gun might have to be dealt with in the middle of the push, which is uh, kind of exactly when Freak Show wants them to have to deal with it. Exactly. So far, it's Paulson doing his best to try to spam this out. Not an impossible task, of course, in sixes, most engineers will run the jag for that little bit faster setup time, which does mean a slower repair speed as well. It does look like here comes the aggression out of 30. They have used their uber very quickly on Connor's death. They managed to get Daz as well. That's very good for them. But the uber has come out from Miramu now. Yeah, Miramu using his uber there, but that is getting absolutely wrecked down fighting on the heavy he's able to take out quite a bit of damage but not enough to make anything happen and 30 able to collect another round eight minutes left on the clock three two oh i'm smelling it now i, I can smell a 30 victory <laughs> yeah i mean this is definitely changing back around for them like we saw on product started out pretty dominant for freak show but now 30's really catching up and uh, it's looking better and better as things go by. On to this mid fight, it's going to be pretty telling who wins this one, because so far, whoever's won the mid has won the round. I think <laughs> so, at least. And 30 on a little bit of a back foot, sending Paulson all the way into the enemy team's choke as they roll. Not able to collect anything, actually going down right, doing the same thing a little bit later. Quite a lot of damage on a mirror, but not enough to, uh, to make it happen. So that's going to be 30 back and straight on out of mid. 
and now you've got a situation where when you're three rounds up, when you're two rounds up, the clock is your friend. When you're one round up, I mean, you don't want to wait five minutes, have them cap around, and then <laughs> now you have a very short amount of time to get out of golden cap territory. So, I mean, it's definitely Freak Show's not going to be as comfortable now going back into playing the full swing of things and trying to force your own advantages. Dork fighting Paulson inside IT. At the moment, Paulson going down pretty low, low does actually manage to survive that. No player advantage apart from Cookie Yu, but does come out from memory though. So much better from... Actually, it's actually the same because of flashing. Yeah, I mean, with the flashes, I think it ends up being a fairly equal... But we do see Connor and Fane in for a nice big bomb. Aisho going down, Matt going down, Fane actually going down as well. That's going to slow things down a little, but they do still have that Demo Man advantage, and I've said this before, it's a big pick. Daz able to push in pretty much un, you know, stoppable. There's no traps to stop And they can do so much damage to Cookie. They've got some time on this. Not quite enough to make it happen immediately. Lao standing there trying to stop. Daz is so good, Daz is so good, and they bring it back to 4-2 with the two-round event. The blast class is really pulling their weight on that one. Bane getting so many kills he had to kill himself before that push. And then just end the end the ear shot from Daz to round it all out. And that's going to be very good for Freak Show. Oh man, I mean Freak Show, you, you got to be riding high after that one because you've just like absolutely shut down any momentum that uh, that uh, 30 were probably feeling. And they're actually quite aggressive on this mid 30. Uh, sorry, Freak Show up. So a 30 though with Riot and uh, and Paulson bombing through. They do end up cleaning up Daz and Fane, but they lose Paulson and Cookie on the backside of that one. And they lose Aisha lose in uh, the middle of that fighting. And that's going to be 30 having the back. With 5 minutes and 30 seconds left and a 2 round disadvantage. They, they're definitely feeling the heat. I've been talking about it. Now they're in the fire, man. Exactly. Five minutes left is a whole different story to 15 minutes left. We talked that there was, you know, a lot of comfort for Freak Show back when they had the same advantage, when there was 10 extra minutes on the point. Now it's become absolutely crucial for 30 to make sure something happens there because they need to get two rounds to simply go to golden cap here. So, I mean, 30's definitely going to want to start something. And so far, they've actually been pretty good at getting things going when Freak Show's in these sort of holding situations but typically that's when they have the mid yeah I mean it, it's kind of hard to be pushing forward here out of your own second because um, you really have to make something happen and we see Paulson jumping through I think just to take some attention but the rest of the team weren't really falling for that one Cookie went for a bit of a sack as well he ends up going down so does Paulson that's two player disad when you need to be pushing four minutes and 30 left on the clock it's still mathematically doable Unfortunately, they're probably going to lose a second here. Aisho is going super aggressively onto down here, and the Uber actually does come out. They do get down. Fano's going low, gets killed by Riot as well. Oh, no, we got the Daz's pipe from Matt! Okay, we've been singing Daz's presence. Matt is just as good. I mean, you were singing his presence before we even started. That pipe, absolutely crucial. They've managed to pretty much wipe Freak Show. Dork, the only player left alive on that mid. If they can cap this one straight to last. I mean, they're, they're in with a chance already. They don't deny most fours, but they do deny Daz, which is pretty crucial, because that's going to be able to get them extra space into second, especially because they have uber advantage as well. If they manage to take second pretty quickly right now, which looks like they're probably going to be able to do, unless Connor has anything to say about it, he doesn't really do too much, though. He's going to have to pull out of that one, which means pretty comfortable cap on second. Definitely going to be rolled into last with an uber advantage. Now 30 chance to put it, 30's chance to put another point on the clock, which would be very perfect timing for them. Uh, it literally could not be better. Three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. I mean, that's all 0 3 and then 30. I mean, that, uh, it's what they want. They're actually pushing straight on through. They have that Uber. They haven't had to use it yet. They've cleaned up the gun nice and quickly. They've gotten quite a bit of time on. They have cleaned up a couple of players, but they've lost Cookie in the meantime. It's a lot of scrappy fighting. Miramu almost has Uber. He goes down at the last game, and that is that. Four to three with three minutes left. I mean, 30. They could do this. They could take 30. this to a tiebreaker. They could absolutely do this. They're now in a pretty comfortable situation. Or like, well, not exactly super comfortable. They have three minutes left, which is a bit of time pressure. And they, they're the ones who need to get something going. Freak Shot at this stage is going to be sweating a little bit. They're going to be wanting to play a little bit more passively. They don't want to get any more rounds. They just want to stop 30 from getting any more rounds here. I mean, this mid's going to be pretty important to see who's going to have tempo in this round at the very least. Uh, and so far it does look like 30 is getting a little bit more forward spacing at the very least, but no one really wants to do the hard commit quite yet. 
Yeah, no one's super, super keen. Paulson taking a bit of attention with a bomb. Looking like they want to clean up Fane. They've got that one player out now. Riot, nice and deep on a Mirror Moon. Unable to make it happen. Cookie goes down. Daz goes down. Aisho goes down. Dork goes down. Paulson goes down to Mirror Moon with a nice big mid-air arrow. Lau and Matt, the only players left alive. Two minutes left on the clock. This is dangerous backing off here. They almost definitely need to, like, push straight in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they didn't do too badly last time they were in this position. So it looks like Freak Show's pushes are getting Merriman caught out quite a decent amount. There's just two really, really important drops they've actually gotten two rounds pretty much 430 so far. If they can do it again, then they're in a very good situation. But it looks like they just want to go completely dry into middle. No Ubers coming out on either side yet. Aisha going down to Fane behind though. The Uber has come up from Merrimu and Fane and Dork are already behind getting on second ready for the back cap. I mean, that two players behind there especially one of them being a scout with that extra caps it means that you know 30 have to come back they have to. they can't afford to stay on the mid because they'd lose the second and then they'd lose the last before they could even get and now they're losing the second anyway they weren't able to clean up the players behind players ahead just go okay well that's fine we'll put and now they've lost that? second minute How oh my god Mirimu's also dead in that, which does mean that now, even though they have been pushed really far back, it's a minute left, but all the momentum is now on the side of 30. They do get Fane, they are pushing out back onto their second, and right now it's a clear run through as far as they can get. They just need to play this balls to the walls aggressively. I mean, it's got to be like some near perfect TF2 out of 30 to make this one happen. They're pushing through into mid, their soldiers jumping at them, taking a bit of attention. Dork is behind, but Cookie was there to meet him. They were ready for this, they knew they were going to be. Having players behind, down manages to take out Riot in the forward area. Connor and Dork go down in very short succession, but the Uber did get forced. I think Connor onto Lau there, able to make it. Fane coming through, managing to clean up Lau as well. Matt's down very, very low. Looks like they're going to be able to pick up the midpoint. 16 seconds? Is it doable? Well, I think uh, technically, if the other team wasn't there, maybe, but I mean, the other team is there. There's five seconds left, they've just kept second now, so they don't have any players on last, because of course, the Uber players on last now, and wow, that was a close map. Oh, we love to see it. Map four of the grand finals, a best of five. I mean, look, if, uh, if Freak Show takes it, they're going to be able to take this one straight to the back. But 30's here to show up and do us proud, hopefully. <laughs> Although I'm the only one open for it of the three of us. But we've come into the first beginning fight of this map. Yeah, I mean, looks like a little bit of better space being taken by Freak Show. They look to be pretty comfortable sitting off this point here. Of course, it's just been unlocked now. Um, nothing really too committal from either team at the moment, but here comes the huge distraction bomb from Paulson. Catches some eyes, Rahib right doing the same, but you know, nothing else really happening. Cookie, did Cookie die, or am I just getting pause, pause stuff? I think you're getting pause stuff. Um, both teams still have all six players alive until just now. Cookie managing to take out down as Fane bombs behind Dork and Fane, and Dork taking out a player in that order. Paulson able to take out Connor though. Paulson's still in that behind area. But uh, it's looking pretty grim. Lau and Matt, the only ones to actually survive all that fighting. However, Lau gets out. Um, Mirimu did end up getting used. They're getting forced, I think, in the middle of all that. Yep, I mean, there was the... Uh, that might have been a reconnect. Uh, I don't know, because that was the where the pause happened. So, <laughs> who knows? But so far, it does look like an Uber Advantage 430. They're going to be looking to take this in pretty aggressively is how I'm used to them playing this. But, you know, kind of happy to sit back a little bit more, honestly, and let Miramu's Uber build up. Yeah, I mean, I can I can understand wanting to just let Miramu's Uber build up here. Um, we do see 30. They're sort of edging that point, as we've seen them do before. They've got it mostly capped, but they haven't actually completed it just 30 does end up using the uber i believe uh, connor might have bombed in no no i think they just used it was a pretty aggressive use but uh Miramu now getting his uber does get forced in the back end there riot able to make that happen as daz takes him out they do take out Aisho as well so two players for the uber it's already a good uber according to uh was it marxist that said that i think take out two players it's a good uber. 
Well, yes, but I typically don't think that counts when you're just about to count, tap the point back on Koth because now we do have an uber advantage for Lau and those players are already back and respawned. However, honestly, it's not a big uber advantage. If I was Freak Show, I'd be relatively happy with that because you got the point back, so you still have the time advantage and you still have a pretty decent hold. You're not, you, if anything, the uber disadvantage just means that if the other team does use first, you have the better uber. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're kind of cheering, especially if you've managed to take out Cookie before they've even really been able to... That scout pick, it's it's big. It's not as big as Demo, but it's it's big. And uh, and that gives them enough room to, to keep on fighting. Here. And they know they've got a little bit of extra damage here. Paulson going for a nice big bomb, very deep. Does get the force out of Miramu as the Uber comes forward out of Lau as well. Lau's Uber fading much earlier. He does go down in the end with the soldiers coming in nice and deep onto him. Mumu still surviving that back end there. I show very, very deep <laughs> trying to make it happen. But between Daz and Dork, there was just nothing he could do. Uh, we do see Riot and Cookie going for it, and they end up going down. Daz almost dying, five health on him. But uh, he managed to survive as well. And Freak Show, I Where's mean, Paulson? they got to be happy. What's Paulson doing in this bush? I didn't even... I can't even see him there, man. I didn't even see him. I'm terrified of what I'm seeing right now. He's just chilling there. We didn't see him, no one else has seen him, unless they see his unusual hat poking out in the shiny boots. Here's the big bomb onto Connor there, it doesn't do too much, and he immediately drops back down, so nothing too frightening there. Connor goes down, however, to Cookie, which is going to give the player advantage 230, who are really very close to capping this point. And they get the force. Yeah. They get that force as well. They even clean up Daz as the Uber comes out. They do lose two players, Cookie and Paulson, for it, but I think they're okay with that because they've still got the fast spawns here. And they're going to be able to cap this point more or less immediately. They've already got their Uber. But Fane is on Lau, though. Oh, Lau holding that one by the... Like, I can't even imagine what he's holding it by. Like, the very <laughs> thinnest of margins. <laughs> Holding it by several comparisons we can't make on stream, but we do see a respawn wave from uh, Freak Show. They have a pretty uphill battle to fight here. I mean, you do have full uber advantage and a solid hold from 30. On the other hand, five seconds on the clock. They cap this. They're in a good position. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show, they're totally okay with this situation, but as long as they take a decent fight here, they're kind of good to go. They do end up having to force that uber early to stop that point cap before it even begins. They clean up Miramu and Connor in the middle of that. That is absolutely golden for them. They just need to keep Lau alive now, which they do manage to do. So it's only down left alive, really, and he's having to back out because he's too... That's very well played out of 30. Yeah, fantastic for them. Good situation. They're going to be happy because they're going to have Uber advantage again, holding this point. Their players are going to respawn before any serious push comes out of Freak Show, although it looks like Freak Show does want to do this very aggressively. They are getting up close, although you know, maybe not as aggressively as I was expecting, honestly. I mean, Freak Show have been very good about playing these ones when they know that Lau doesn't have Uber. They're very keen to take those fights while they can. And uh, they clean up Riot nice and early. They do lose Connor for it, but they've also cleaned up Pulse and both soldiers down on the side of third. So it's really only the scouts, and they can't afford to let this be capped. The Uber isn't quite ready yet. It's 92%. Matt is here. He's getting a bit of damage off. They block that point a few times. He's got the Uber. They know they've got a little bit of ad. They send Matt through after they've used, but he's not able to clean up the mech. They do clean up Daz, but they lose oh one, two, three, three It's out of fame. All from fame. Oh, um, no. And that's oh the round, I think. Yeah, five seconds. I mean, the respawners are coming through, but they're not going to be able to get here fast enough. Uber's already on point to defend. Yep, there's the first round. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can play as good as you want fundamentally, but then when fame comes through and literally kills basically all of your team, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Did he do it in one rocket or two? <laughs> I think it was two, you know. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> he's got the cheats on or something, man. <laughs> I think he's just d truly a demonic player. Look at the next minute, though. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> the, uh, the Free Show team are ready to go on this mid as well. They've thrown in Connor and Fane nice and deep onto left. They do end up both getting cleaned up, but Lau is very, very low and must be fearful. They've cleaned up Daz, however, on the other side. So, Freak Show having to back out with just both of their scouts in their mid. They have kept their mid alive, so they're not too grim here, but the first cap does go the way of 30. 
Yep. And uh, they're going to be pretty happy with that one. Of course, no cookie. He's a respawn. They're not really going to be too much of a difference. Freak Show regrouping now. Uh, even Uber's on both teams, so really just seeing who can make things happen here. Of course, Tony's going to be pretty happy about actually having the time lead for once. But I mean, you know, Freak Show can always just retake this if they pull off this push successfully enough. Yeah, quite a bit of fighting going on. Dork actually going down in the back end. So does Down. Down dies as the Uber gets used. It's a... <gasps> Holy cow, it's a bit of a drop out allow as well. Daz able to jump straight on... Did he double pipe him? That's nuts! Oh my god, Daz is showing up again. He's like, yeah, we're back to cough. It's time for me to do some more stuff. And, you know, the drop on Lau is definitely what they wanted to see. So many players did as well, which is going to give a super easy cap for a freak show. A little bit of an uber advantage as well for them. Uh, maybe not extremely usable, but I mean, for the holding team, this is always a comfortable position. And uh, now, of course, still a minute off the clock for 30, though. So they're not in an awful situation if they recap this in, you know, a decent amount of time. In a pretty grim position when Connor's able to just land on Lau and remove him from the game. However, the rest of his team was there to uh, to clean up some of the players. So they're going to be able to recap the point um, after their med spawn. So that's not super, super bad overall, but they are still staring down the barrel of almost full advantage. It's one of those King of the Hill situations where, honestly, you it was a good play from... It was a great play from Freak Show to manage to kill Lau and keep their own minutes alive. That's exactly what you want. But you're now looking at 1 minute 30 on the clock for 30. And the fast, aggressive Uber coming out from Freak Show needed to ensure they retake this. However, Lau is already sort of far out of this one. He's in no real danger of dying. Yeah, and they've managed to trade two for two. And knowing that they'll probably have the, uh, the good spawns. No? Okay. So, Freak Show, very content to slow down their cap, to make sure that uh, they slow down those spawns on Paulson and Cookie. That actually slows down this push a little. That said, Lau, he's ready to go with his Uber. They're going to cap this one, and then I wonder if they're going to get very aggressive. They might need to use nonetheless, or they're going to lose players. Matt goes down, Riot goes down. They do clean up Fane, who actually manages, uh, you know... He, he, he cleans himself up, you know? Hit himself, actually. <laughs> and, uh, no one kills Fane, but Fane... <laughs> Oh, it feels fine for that. Cookie still fighting, trying to get Miramu. Came very, very close to uh, removing Miramu for the game. But uh, it's not quite enough, so it's now about 50% add on the side of Freak. So that's definitely usable. Yeah, I mean, definitely a comfortable situation for them. Of course, still a lot of time off the clock for 30, so they're sitting pretty comfortably here, honestly. They can afford to lose the point here, come back through, but as long as they get the force, does look like they're trying to send Paulson in to do it. Doesn't quite manage to get too much, but I mean, the rest of the forward players are doing their best to put some pressure on Freak Show here. Finally, Aisha goes down, though. Matt going down as well to Daz. <laughs> Very nice pipe. Uh, that's going to leave a now fully Ubered Freak Show in control of this point. So, I mean, the, the Uber is coming up for 30 as well. I mean, 30's got a bit of time to play with here. They've got the timer down to 46 seconds for them, which gives them almost a full minute's advantage here. Um, they do have that even Uber as well, so if they can get a force off on a Miramu, which, I mean, look, they've been very able to do um, over the last couple maps. I mean, if they can get that off, and maybe not lose all their players, it'll be good, even if they get a decent solo off. Well, there is the solo here. They're having to flash Matt into it, though, so not quite a solo. Daz does get picked up with Uber, so does Down. Dawn and Down the Dawn going back to kill Aisho. Paulson behind as well, if they get two. Like you said, it's a good Uber. So, uh, unfortunately, Fang going down. Du Paulson is going to be very good for them. Daz going down as well. So, now we're actually in a pretty good position for 30, because they have a slight bit of Uber advantage, the player advantage, and the point. Yeah, and they've even managed to uh, to get Paulson up before they cap and prevent uh, any decent spawns to Fane and that. So that's going to give them a little bit of advantage here, uber-wise and player-wise, for a brief moment. However, the uh, the player one has equal. So now all they need to do is uh, keep them away from the point, build up their uber, and I, I think it's a, it's a round for them. 30 seconds left on the clock, 55 for Freak Show. Freak Show sending their soldiers through. Connor dying. Matt taking an arrow in the air to survive the fall. That was fantastic out of loud. <laughs> that, was, that was actually really good. I wish I could do that. <laughs> Thought going down there as well as Paulson is going to leave even players. Freak Show is moving forward to cap the point. They do kill Riot as well for Fane. 
Uh, the Ubers have been exchanged for both teams now. Looks like it's a little bit better for the side of 30. Not going to be any significant different. Now the spawns are actually in the favor of Freak Show if they get here in time. So far, really deep players. The, the fight's going pretty well the way of Freak Show. They have sort of control around this point area. I mean, if you're 30, though, you might actually just want to back out and play this one with one decent Uber because they know they have app. If they can catch this point with overtime, 50 seconds left on the clock to play with. I mean, they're kind of gone. They're actually edging the point nice and early, though. Connor taking out Aisha. Going to slow them down a little bit. Now they've got Connor and Fane behind them. They've lost Paulson in that front area. Cookie manages to take out both of those soldiers behind. That might be the entry they need, knowing that, hey, look, okay, Paulson's down, but that's fine. We can actually edge this a little bit more. They get quite a bit of damage onto down. Cookie managing to take him out. Daz goes down as well with Riot getting a nice big rocket on him. The med goes down, the scout goes down, and that is it. Round one, well, round two, sorry. <laughs> going the way of 30. <laughs> Math is never your strong suit, was it? No, no, it wasn't. It really never was. <laughs> Well, so far evened up, looking to going to be like a close map here. Uh, going into another round, of course. Dodi actually played that last part very well. They're looking like they're having the advantage in these even, even over situations. I remember saying the exact same thing last grand final as well when both these teams, or at least similar teams, fought on this map. Uh, that Dodi actually is coming out of these even over situations a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely looking good on the tail end of the even over situation. In the middle of this fight, though, I mean, look, they've cleaned up four players, but they have lost Lau. They're throwing as many players as they can directly at Miramu. Miramu finally going down. It's only down to defend now. He's... He might? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. Cookie manages to take him out. I was going to say, I think Down's going to 1-2-3 this one, but he only gets the 1-2. Um, so that one's going to slow it on down. And it's even oops, and uh, neither team has been able to cap just yet, but I think Freak Show is going to be able to now. Yep, uh, good first cap for Freak Show, or at least only presence. Does look like 30 wants to contest it at least a little bit, having mid fight version 2 here. Balls in with the huge bomb in! Almost picks up Miramu, that's alright, it gets cleaned up by Cookie there at the end of things. Now it's going to be Lau's life is in danger as Daz is really going for him. He's kind of caught in here. Gets taken down by Down, actually. So, beneficial overall for Freak Show, as Mirimu is going to be the first one to spawn and actually get a pretty decent amount of advantage of that. And finally, first cap going to Freak Show. I think I may have twinged something in my neck with the whiplash I'm getting from this game <laughs> so far. Man. This is, uh, it's very back and forth. Um, but I think we're going to be seeing a little bit of a, a more uh, oppressive advantage on the side of Mirimu there. He's got about 30 add. Um, they've just capped a point. I mean, they're, they're okay with it so far. Uh, we're just going to be seeing a little bit of poking, I think. Except Paulson's run a hug the skybox there. Right going in as well. Just playing around this rooftop area. Nothing too dangerous from them. But they are going pretty low. Aisha going down there. Riot's pretty low. Cookie's pretty low. He goes down as well. Paulson and Riot finally committing. Riot goes down, however. Paulson just hanging around behind. He's got four players chasing him. <laughs> He dies. Everyone wants the honor of being able to kill Paulson, huh? <laughs> I think that was uh, a form of four-man, uh, like a three-man sack to try and get the U. Um, they've got their spawns now. I mean, they've still got those good spawns, but they have lost a minute on the clock. Uh, that they, they no longer get to play with. So we'll have to see how they want to play this one. They look like they're getting forward. The Uber does get used. Both teams ending up using their Uber. We do actually see Aisho left high and dry, caught behind the uh, the Uber on the enemy. And he's the only player to really die in the middle of all that fight. He's still waiting to spawn, but we see Riot with a nice big bomb on a Mirror Moon. Not enough to make it happen. Paulson goes for it as well. Also goes down. Cookie manages to clean up Connor which is going to be uh, reducing the chance of them getting absolutely stuffed here. But they're still going to have to back straight on out. They are going to get those spawns a little bit early, though. Now, this is the great thing about uh, King of the Hill maps, is that they got those two spawns. Connor is still spawning, so they're actually going to be able to get a little bit more of an aggressive push here. Of course, only one player advantage in Lau going down to Fane. Fantastic bomb from him, cleaning up that all that damage that was already on Lau. And uh, now you're just going to see a pullback from Miramu, as they're going to want to do everything they can to keep him alive and preserve this ad. Killing the backline soldiers is going to be crucial for that since he went so low to 34 health. 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, some fairly tragic stuff losing Lau there. And then, uh, I mean, obviously he's throwing all your players at uh, Miramu and not being able to really make it happen. Uh, it's grim. Uh, it's, it's very grim. The point finally gets capped by uh, by Freak Show. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're riding comfortably. You know, 50 seconds left on the clock. Big Uber advantage. They're able to spam players before they can even come in. This is where you want to be if you're playing King of the Hill. Absolutely. However, 30 is looking to Not do something. Playing to cookie. See, it's the caster's curse. I said almost. Uh, no, I go. Oh, this is where you want to be if you're a freak show, and then almost immediately they lose their. Uh, that's that's really quite rough. Um, only talk down and feign there to really defend anything anymore. Um, and the point is going to get capped by 30. They're letting the timer run down a little bit. Just trying to make sure those spawns end up, uh, you know, advantageous for them. Uh, now I wonder, do you think they're going to use this uber aggressively, maybe? Um, I mean, they're going to have to... Oh, no, they don't really have to. They have to play the marathon here. Here's the problem, because if they do anything too crazy, too aggressive, try and eke out, you know, the extra minute of time. Of course, having said that, Miramu is already on 23 HP, very far behind. Daz is already extremely low. They're not even going to need the Uber to sort of take a dominant position here. Of course, Freak Show players have been healed back up, going back in now, getting a little bit of cap time. The Uber has been used aggressively, and Miramu goes down. Dude, Matt hit some... Great jumps to just like, put a bunch of damage directly on a Mirimu. They've even wiped the entirety of uh, Freak Shot here. Mirimu spawns on his own as well, so they get a bit more time to build the U It's uh, almost 30% ad. I mean, that's thoroughly usable. Yeah, I've definitely a usable ad for them. They're going to be happy with the situation from such a dominant position from Freak Show. It's now looking so good for 30, and they've been doing really well at holding on to this point. Fane already going down. I mean, that's not really looking great for them. Connor going down as well for no kills, and you're just going to have to force Freak Show all the way back now. Not even synced up spawn, so they can't even get back at the same spawn wave. I mean, obviously, it's a lot of back and forth. We're seeing a lot more fighting going on. Well, okay, <laughs> as they, they un... But, um... <laughs> Well, we've got to say, I mean, there's a lot more fighting going on than we've seen on the other Koth maps. Do you think, uh, you know, either team's really showing a significant edge so far? Uh, I mean, Freak Show's still been, like, a little bit better. Like, um, Suarez done really well to, like, bring this round back and can go either way. But down, once again, is destroying, but he's playing a lot better, which has helped. But I still feel like Connor and Fane have had the edge in general. Alright, some well, good okay. stuff. Having said that, we've gone actually an Uber exchange has happened. No players dying, however. Daz, however, is pretty low. Big bomb coming through. Fane managing to kill Matt. Daz managing to kill Pawson. Miramu arrowing Riot. Connor killing Aisho. Dork killing Lau. And down killing Cookie is going to be a full wipe. Control over the point for Freak Show. They've got all their spawns. They can cap it. It's going to be another, you know, the all big spawn wave for um, 30, however, so. Yeah, I mean, look, 30 gets a, a nice big spawn wave, but they're looking at the 30% disadvantage uh, as they try to push straight on through onto the point. They know they need to play this time. It's overtime already. 30 seconds left on the clock for them. A little bit under, actually. They do lose Paulson and Riot in all the fighting there. Fane is behind, so is Dort. They're in a very dangerous position here if they don't stop that. But that's going to be that second second round on the board for Freak Show, third round overall. And that's when the pause happened, so I mean, now going into this, let's see if that little bit of a break refreshed 30 here. Vero set to win another round here if you want to see it go 3-2. Uh, it's looking up to be, at the very least, a very close map. This was um, 30's pick as well, so unlikely that they're going to bow out at this point. I mean, it could just be one of those things where 30, you know, they're going, okay, we're a bit more confident, we'll take a Koth map, that's fine. But they, they've already lost Aisho nice and early. They do clean up Dork and Connor, but they do lose Pawson. They managed to pick up Fane as well, which puts them in a pretty good spot here. They've only got the one player add, and they are facing down a scout and a demo, which is a pretty dangerous combination. However, we do see Freak Show, they're just they're content to back out. I mean, look, I think that's the safe play as well. Yeah, I definitely think that's, uh, you know, you don't want to commit too difficultly in this situation. They go for the Uber in, however, solo Uber on down. 
Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a better Uber from Lau, much better positioning as well from their team. Pawson going deep in behind onto Mirimu, gets him down so low, gets a splash kill on him. Fane going down to Matt as well, Connor going down to Aisho. Oh no, Freak Show's dropping like flies. Yeah, Freak Show really falling apart at the seams here as they, uh, they try to collect a little bit out of that, uh, that Uber exchange. I really thought they were going to go for another Uber cycle and then try for a dry fight because that seems to be where they're excelling. But uh, no avail. Yeah, Freak Show is coming back for the regression though. Paulson is just respawning now, so they have the one player advantage to try to do a little bit of muscling in with. Um, you know, getting a bit of space here, but nothing sort of too exciting. Connor now going for the big double sack with Fane. They're going in deep, returning sack coming out as well. Cookie die getting down actually before dying himself. That's a full wipe almost for Freak Show, just as Andork alive. But I mean, they managed to kill so many players. So it's just Lau and Matt, and they're gonna actually have to be the ones pulling out even though they use the Uber. Yeah, Daz managed to get just enough damage onto Lau right on the tail end of that fight to actually force the Uber. Um, I mean, <laughs> I think Lau's learned to respect uh, Daz's damage over the last three maps. So, uh, I mean, that's that's a totally fair pop. But uh, it does end up putting them in a spot here where, you know, they're fighting uphill once again, literally and figuratively, uh, as they, they try to, like, take this point back. Yep. And, uh, I mean, at this stage we've got an even uber situation shaping up, which is actually where 30 has been excelling more, but it is a dry fight at the moment, no team has any uber yet, so, you know, nothing that I'd expect to go one way or the other so far. Big bomb coming in, however, landing on top of Miramu, he sent Seth flying, good surf from him. Oh, that was squashed, however, by Riot, that's unfortunate. Lau going down as well, however. Yeah, Daz hit a double pipe across the point as both soldiers <laughs> jumped onto his med. I, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think it's just a case of you execute a great double bomb, you pick up the other team's medic, and meanwhile what happens to your medic, one of the best in the game by the way, you know, Daz walks in and double pipes. <laughs> just, just unreal, man. <laughs> I'd, I'd be spewing, man. I would actually be spewing. Like, I would be so often mad about that. <laughs> the fight's coming through. It's a lot more scrappy fighting. Fane goes in for a nice big bomb. There's actually quite a bit of fighting going on. Both men's down yet again. Lao dying a little bit behind Miramu. Riot's still alive, but he's on four health. And I don't think he's going to be able to do anything with that much health. No, I think that uh, most <laughs> he's still just sitting here, just waiting for the medic to come up and arrow him. Matt's gone back and gotten a pack, so we can at least get a little bit more spam. Miramu looks like he's here first, which actually gives him the uber advantage as well. Of course, having the point capped by 30 gives them the better spawns there, which actually puts them in a better spot for holding this. Yeah, I mean, 30 is not too bad here. They are still on that disadvantage, but I think it's about time they start taking these disad fights the way we've seen Freak Show do. Freak Show all the more content to keep edging this point, stopping 30 from capping it back. The times are about to equalize, minute 11 on both sides. It's two rounds the side of Freak Show though, and Paulson knows that he goes in for a nice big sack. So does Cook, who gets middied and deleted, but not before he picks up Mirror. That is an absolute golden frag for, uh, for Freak Show. Uh, 30 here. Finally, one side has a medic who survived the fight, uber advantage for the side of 30, exactly where they want to be, full uber advantage as well. They're probably going to be able to pick this up without too much difficulty, of course. The main goal from Freakshire should be getting this uber forced so that they're not forced to just walk into a full uber advantage next time they do get their medic out. But Miramu is here, healing up the team, ready for probably what's going to be a four-man sack. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to expect the four-man sack here. We we personally like throwing our med into that little house there. Yeah, okay. Daz comes in behind. Connor comes in as well. Fane and Dork go down. Daz the only one left alive out of that sack, and he goes down. Down is the only one remaining on that team, aside from Miramu, and he's just building that spawn. So very well dealt with out of uh, 30 there. Yep, I mean, they're going to be happy in this situation. 30 seconds left, still got that uber charge. Now Miramu's getting up to even uber, but I mean, again, 30 has been looking very comfortable in these even uber situations so far. And so I wouldn't be too much sweating if you were them. Plus, even if they lose the point, they do have another crack at taking it with the 40 second clock. First uber does come out of Miramu here, which gives Lau so much of the advantage. Yeah, I mean, Lau's very, very happy with that uber, I think. They have picked up Connor, they picked up Miramu, they do lose Lau and Matt. 
However, they pick up Baz on the far end of that one, down and Thor go down, pretty much everyone's dead, it's only Riot, Paulson and Aisha, and they manage to cap 2-2, two to two. 46 seconds left on the clock. I mean, it's do or die now for both teams, isn't it? A little bit more damage on Freak Show, but two more kills on 30. It looks like I'm gone again, let's go. Alright, the round has started, going back to the mid here. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see Matt, he's apparently on soy milk mode at the moment, so, you know, definitely could be a pretty big decider. Um, looks like currently the more forward aggression is coming out from Freak Show, although I say that uh, the slightest of margins, because no team is really doing any big committers at the moment. As I say that, Paulson and Riot going in, big time. Yeah, Paulson and Riot trying their absolute best to pick up Miramu. They do finally get him. After both of their soldiers die, Aisho manages to collect that frag. However, the other team, Freak Show, they were pushing for a med frag, but they weren't actually quite able to collect it. Lao surviving yet again. Truly, truly dangerous for, for 30, who uh, walk straight into a trap. Aisho, the only one dying at Lao, very, very nearly dropped. Yeah, very nearly, of course, is absolutely a happy place you want to be because you haven't dropped, which puts them at a full uber advantage and about to cap this point. Uh, Fane dying as well. Big set coming in here from Connor and Daz does get the force. Pretty good situation for them. Doesn't pick up any other players, though. So while they have the force and Mirimu has the advantage, they don't have, you know, it's always nice to get another extra couple of players to make your repush that much easier. Uh, that's actually when the pause happened right then. Um, but we are actually still into the swing of things, luckily for us. And, um, you know, we're now looking at the Freak Show push. Yeah, I mean, look, Freak Show is definitely in a good position here. Full over. They do end up using straight on through. They pick up Paulson as well, who actually gets a bit of a force off. That's now what's going to happen. Sure enough, Lau is lives? actually alive. He gets out. <laughs> what? That's why you're paying the big bucks, Elmo. Lau's a god this map, bro. That's yeah, actually unreal. So, the fight continues. We do see Lau surviving with massive, massive uber out on the tail end of that one. Uh, and that's going to put 30 in a very good spot here. Well, the point's still capping down for them. Two minutes left on the clock, a 40 second uh, uh, advantage. I really got lost on that <laughs> word for a moment. <laughs> Thank you, time, Snazzy. It's been a rough day for everyone. At least of all 30, as they just got big force from Connor's death. Thane's still behind. That's another uber advantage for Miramu because they're pulling right back right now. However, last time they didn't manage to really do too much with that. The time advantage is still on the side of uh, Freak Show here. Thane actually survives his jaunt behind, which is very good for them. They're now actually going to cap this point with a fat uber advantage as well. So finally a good position for Freak Show. Yeah, 30 sending the four man though, Matt going down, Riot goes down, Cookie is in pretty deep, he's not going to be likely to pick up Miramu, in fact he goes down with very minimal to talk about, um, but uh, it, I, I mean it's fine, because look they've built up the Uber, they're happy now because they've got that even Uber and they're still, they're still ahead in time. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be pretty decently comfortable in the situation. Even Ubers again, like I said, this is a situation that 30 has actually been coming out beneficially from as they were back when they were Soiree fighting in this exact same map. And this is basically this exact same situation last season. Or was it the season before? One of them at least. Been very dominant over a few seasons, these guys. I, uh, I'm sort of partially rooting for, uh, for a free show here because you love an underdog. Um, the Uber does come out. Both teams use their Uber. It's looking a little bit better for Freak Show here. Right down very, very low. Connor, the only player to die in the midst of all that Uber. That's actually going to put uh, 30 on a pretty good spot here. They do pick up Fane as well after losing Paulson. Paulson, however, having uh, shoved the entirety of Freak Show back. And they're still ahead in time, but only very minimally now. And now Paulson's going to have a little slow respawn time, which means Freak Show are going to be able to get their soldiers into the fight faster. Maybe fast enough to be decided if they choose to take this aggressively on a single player advantage. One of those cough pushes, you know? Uh, Fane, however, going low pretty early into that means they're not going to be able to get too much space further, but down is slowly chipping away on capping the point with Dork. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really edging that point out, and, and we know they love their dry fight, so it looks like they're pretty keen on it. In fact, they've got an Uber with a tiny bit of advantage. They have lost Dork, though. And they lose Connor. Down manages to pick up Paulson, but I don't think it's going to be enough. 
That said, the Ubers get used, both teams use their Uber. It was actually Lau using his a little bit more aggressively, perhaps. But uh, we do see a little bit of an equalization. There is a bit of pressure on the point from 30. They're doing their absolute best, but Daz is there to meet. He's getting that damage back onto him after they've capped that point back. Still a little bit of time ahead on the side of 30, but it's very, very minimal. And this fight continues. 30's actually had really good control of the point all this time. You wouldn't tell it from the clock so much, however, because Freak Show is getting this cap, and 30 is letting them take this cap so that they can win the fight. And it is benefiting 30. They do have only 30 seconds left on the clock here. And, I mean, at this stage, they're going to be... They've picked up another two soldiers just for Riot, and they've been doing that consistently every single fight. And Freak Show, just without their soldiers, they haven't really been able to force the issue. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show, they do seem to rely on those soldiers to create the initiation in these fights fairly often. They have just managed to be able to cap the point, but they do lose Dork for it as well. That's going to be pretty tragic for them, because now they're a player down as this Uber fight is likely to begin. The Uber does get used by Miramu. It gets counter-used by Lau. It's looking a little bit better for 30 here. They've gotten a bit more of that high ground. They do pick up Miramu as well. Paulson getting in behind and being able to clean him up. Connor cleaning up Aisho, but he goes down. So does Down. Down also goes down. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Fane and Daz go down as well, and it's just Mirror Moon. Four, three, and that's going to be it. We're going to a fifth map. Man, these have been some nail biters. We've waffled on long enough. The map has begun. The final map of this best of five. The fifth map. Oz Fortress Season 33, the premium final. This is it. The winner's gonna take it all. It's between the fellas, and they're going straight onto the mid. 30 and Freak Show. Dad's already getting, you know, right up in, Matt's actually getting right up in his face. Matt goes down, Riot goes down, Daz goes down. Miramu's already dead at this situation, so more players alive for the side of Freak Show. However, I mean, Lau is safely out with his scout, so they're going to get the mid, but they lost the Uber advantage for that one, which means the tempo of the round is probably going to go in the way of 30, a little bit better at the very least. Super progressive play out of 30 on that mid, honestly. Just watching Matt walk right across midpoint into Daz's face for something. Oh, man, he was eager. Um, and it's kind of turned out better for his team here. I mean, they're, they're going to be able to recap this. I mean, they know they have full, full lap. Um, so as long as they don't lose too many players, I think they're totally content to, to recap this. And I mean, picking up Dork nice and early, that's going to slow down any sort of counter-aggression. They even pick up Fane as well. That's two players. Uh, they can use that to play. And it looks like they're pretty keen to do that. They've pushed through into that lobby area. They've got that very early aggression. Looks like they're going to take it straight on through the shutter. They know they still have nice big battle. Maybe they're going off launch pad. They do go off the launch pad. There is a pyro there to meet them who hasn't quite been dealt downs on heavy as well. Two off classes already down goes down. So does the pyro, I believe. Connor is doing his absolute best to block that point. And Cookie goes down on the point as well. It's only Paulson really left alive to fight it. And he goes down as well. Daz taking him out right on the tail end of the run. Lau just fleeing. That was a, a ridiculous defense from uh, Freak Show. Yeah, Pyro didn't even go down. It was Dork. I'm pretty sure he swapped off into Spawn. That was fantastic. They completely failed to deal with him. Um, that, I was actually so surprised to see 30 push it so far forward. They kept both mid, second, and pushed into last all on the same uber advantage. So fantastic playing from them. Not quite enough. This last is so hard to crack. And those off-class plays, as we know, are so effective. Worked out well for them. Now the uber advantage is on the side of Freak Show. They're capping this mid up. And they'll probably actually be able to push the second as well. And if the resistance isn't really put up, no force plays put up, then hey, probably won't be able to push last, not quite that quick of defeat, but I mean, fast enough at least to coast to coast. Yeah, Paulson's pretty keen behind as well, however, Lau did die with 99%, another stinging, stinging death for him. That's, uh, uh, that, that totally sucks. Uh, that's gonna really put the uh, Freak Show in a really good position here. They're gonna be able to push him with pretty much full ad, this um, is knowing that there's at least one player down. It's an extremely optimistic Sentry Gun level 1. Yeah, he swaps right off onto Heavy. Much better choice there. Down already on the point, getting so much of a cap, and he just caps it. Yeah, I mean, there was nothing they could do. They were stuck in spawn. They were just trying to, to sort of get some health before they really <laughs> took that fight. I, it was just very, very grim for, for 30 there. And I mean, first round going the way of Freak Show. I mean, that's that was... kind of what they want to see.
<laughs> that was less than four minutes and we already saw who last pushes and around. So, and that was actually very quick for that to happen. Uh, does look like the aggression is now on the side of Freakshow. They take down Cookie and Aisho for Connor and Fane. Um, and now actually counter aggression coming out. Paulson taking down Daz and down as well. So really good play from him. Dork going down as well. Miramu's already out at spawn though. He needs a spawn Dude. to heal though. Paulson is so good, man. <laughs> that, was, that was really good at it. The, the absolute power of his rockets there to just like stop people from really even being able to like fight let alone Lee. Um, that was fantastic. Like, he absolutely won his team that mid in such a convincing fashion. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really what <laughs> that's really showcased his strengths here. However, this time they're now going up for the push onto with even Ubers. Now, I'm pretty sure 30 at at least some stage is going to start the even Uber pushes onto last. They have been doing this quite a lot on this map, I feel. Um, at the moment, however, they're pretty content to go for sack waves and such. There's no sentry gun, just heavy, which means you're testing manual aim, but you're testing downs manual aim, so... Um, oh wait, no, the sentry gun is up, and that is actually Paulson and Cookie both dying. It looks like they did make a play for the point. Didn't really work out for them, and now it's likely we're going to see a push out from the side of Freak Show. However, this point is so hard to push out from. Yeah, I mean, it's very difficult to push out from, at least without using oop um because it's so choky trying to get out uh, they do have pardon me i've been sitting here too um they do have a little <laughs> bit of uh, advantage in uh, in the form of uh, the players that they've got but they have kept dork on uh, on engineer that entire time as well so it's it's kind of even more difficult to push out uh, but cookies on sniper through main he may be able to hit a shot onto someone here because he's got a pretty good angle to clean up down at the very least. It's uh, it's a heavy, it's pretty good. They've cleaned up the gun as well. That might actually trigger the push because they know now that there's like two players really down because the sentry being down. There was a, Did banner I a banner on comp, but he just died immediately as uh, a few players jumped on him. It's two for two so far. Both soldiers down on both. Cookie does die in that main area. Dork comes behind, gets the force out of left. They've used the Uber, but they haven't been able to cap the point as a result. But Daz gets out of that fight? That's unreal! And not only that, but I mean, that whole play, which was actually so good for 30 there, they had a full Uber blade push into last, has now turned out disastrously because, if anything, they have a disadvantage now. Of course, they have killed down, so they're going to be able to keep. <laughs> just gonna be able to keep Freak Show stuffed into this last and god this is gully wash in a nutshell you know just Freak Show are dying out here trying their hardest <laughs> to break out of last <laughs> oh dude Riot got absolutely minced there Paulson came in for a sack as well and did go down Connor actually following up with a sack of his own to clean up Lau and Matt between him and Daz's damage that is brilliant for them. They're going to definitely be able to push out here. They have got Cookie in the back end there, but they have managed to clean him up, which is going to result in an easy second cap. Yep, and finally something for them. Cookie is actually back on... Sorry, Riot is now back on Sniper. Sorry, I can't read, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's looking at Choke here, but the push is coming big door, actually. Full uber advantage on the side of um, Freak Show. The shot has been missed by Riot, and now they've locked them out of Choke. So pretty good situation for them. Paulson in behind, not really going to be able to do much. Can't back cap on Gully Watch since the second point caps the same speed as mid does. Yeah, very tragic for Paulson there. However... The blue team did end up having to use the Uber oh Miramu God. actually using into second there, not really achieving a hell of a lot with and there's players all around him, but uh, it does actually look like it's going to be alright. They might be able to flee. They are a bit disconnected from the rest of their players. Right, going for a hero shot. He goes for another. He does finally go down in that backside there, <laughs> which is going to give Miramu what he needs to be able to uh, comfortably push into second with a little bit of add too. Yep, especially not having that sniper is going to be pretty rough for them in defending this. Not going to be able to do too much. Big bomb from Paul's now. A counter bomb from Fane and Connor. Do get pick up Cookie there for Fane and uh, Paulson for Connor. So, you know, not an awful situation for the aggressive team, especially because they do have a little bit of uber advantage to work with. Don't know how much they're going to be able to use it. Do look like I want to poke into last here. There is a sentry gun already set up, so it's already going to be pretty rough to take. Yeah, I think they were just poking their heads in trying to say, like, hey, is there a way we can turn this into a round? 
um, they noticed that there was. Um, and I think they seem pretty keen to get this Uber straight on through. They're going through the shutter. The Uber gets used really, really early. No sticks to speak. They do clean up the gun early and they get quite a bit of time on the point, but they lose down. They do pick up Riot, Paulson, Aisho in quick order. Dork goes down as well and they do lose Miram. So it's just Conifane and Daz here to defend it out. Well, to attack it, sorry. Now, and they're facing Lao, Matt and Cookie, which is a very grim combo to be facing. Cookie managing to take out Daz, and that is going to be that. Down does spawn, but he's in no position to do anything. They didn't actually have no chance there, but I felt like their pushes were all kind of disconnected one player at a time, so not really able to achieve too much here. Uh, regardless, 30 is going to have the momentum from that. Uber advantage and the push advantage. Down is on Spy here, very close to this choke, so they're going to need to watch out for him. He's decloaked, going for the medic. He's been seen a mile away. Missed a stab on the dead man being killed by Riot. Uh, so nothing really to stop the 30 push forward. 20% advantage as well. So they're going to be able to comfortably push this into last. Any, sorry, into second any moment now. Yeah, I mean, look, they've already taken so much ground on second through that big door area. And they're actually going straight into last while someone caps on two. They have used the Uber. There is a pyro there to meet them, but they've cleaned him up down, dying in the end. Fane on that launch pad taking quite a bit of attention as the Uber comes back from Miram who tries to block the point, but he's unable, and the rounds equalize one-to-one. -one. Fantastic response from 30. The equalization this early on is exactly what they want. This time, they're not allowing any early lead from uh, Freak Show here, which is, of course, going to be pretty rough for Freak Show since they're used to taking a pretty comfortable lead early on on these maps, especially considering this is their map pick. Um, another mid where we're seeing a little decent amount of aggression out from the soldiers on both teams actually. Cookie and Ryder are really going down however for no frags back on the side of Freak Show means a good situation for and another mid for Freak Show. Yeah, I mean, Freak Show picked up three players on that mid including Paulson really, really late. So they know they can very happily push second and they can probably take a bit of ground in that lobby area if they're very keen. But uh, they must know they, they haven't been building super, super well. Um, yeah, so they're actually grinding a little bit, and I think they're, they're just going to slow it down, you know? Yeah, I mean, at this stage, you can stop the flood of rounds. I mean, it's hard to believe we've already seen 10 minutes go by. It's felt very quick so far. Two rounds in already. And uh, Riot's getting some brawling with Connor own lobby. He gets the worst of it, however, that's fine for him because both Dorka and Connor have gone down, forcing Freak Show back to holding second. Of course, we're not going to be able to see a push out from 30 at this stage. Like I said, this last is very hard to push out from, and they already have the sentry gun, which is pretty good for this defense, so they don't really want to change this up too much. Now, something I want to point out from the sentry is that the sentry does not entirely cover point, which doesn't tend to be an issue since most of the ways you get onto point require going past the sentry in the first place, but especially because you can go through water from river underneath and we have seen 30 have a chronic lack of attention to piling all their bodies onto point this is definitely something that can theoretically be exploited by um whatever this team is i completely forgot their name freak show that's the one uh so seeing two spies on either team as well so uh, as we go into this pause we could see uh dork was checking for off classes and i believe riot is doing the exact same just uh disguising as the different classes looking to see if there's any you know custom hats or weapons or anything you know trying to get a, an inkling as to what there is uh, elmo you've been watching two quick rounds really um how are you, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, matt is farming at least. It's like 14 for 3 and top damaging by like 50 DPM. So a bit of a chad. Matt oh, surely shows like we gamble. unpaused already. <laughs> yeah, they unpaused yeah, as I threw it to you. <laughs> Back in the box, Elm. <laughs> <laughs> Back into the swing of things. Uh, looks like just some fun forward pokes. A sniper out of Dork here, I think. Yep, he's checked the off classes. Right is still on spy. Holy oh, it's a wow. Oh no. Dude, that was a fantastic shot out of Dork through the crack to delete left. Miramu uses on through. They've cleaned up so many players. It's really only Riot and Cookie here to defend, but they're getting so, so close. It's only Miramu left. That. What? That was criminal. They that defended? 
I, I can't really say one side's robbed because you know once I got robbed of the Aruba by the headshot and then the other side got robbed of their last push by just that fantastic defense so, I, oh. I'm shocked that that was not around man I am too that was morally destructive for freak show honestly they've already been pushed all the way back to mid here they have uber disadvantage they're probably going to be pushed back to their second as well they're going to need to try really hard to get a force here now freak show is not actually awful at getting a force in this position I definitely am expecting to see Connor trying something here but um oh we actually see a that's where the pause came in it was a disconnect by was that Daz? Damn down right so that might have actually influenced their beef as well beforehand however we are now seeing the push from 30. yeah 30 very keen to push on through loud takes quite a bit of damage does end up getting four fane uh, able to to die for that one dork i believe actually went in for it as well we're gonna be cleaning up those two players behind so dork and fane are down dork it's a really long spawn um, but miramu is ready to go with his uber they actually use straight on back through they don't care about that player this they're quite keen to catch out Lau here, but they really haven't been able to make anything happen. Fane and Riot trade on the point, and there is a scout behind them on this point as well as the midpoint does get tapped. Cookie and Aisho able to really run a mark in the back line here. And uh, we do see Lau and the rest of his team ready to go on the midpoint already. Connor is under the point. He does finally go down. <laughs> he kills I think himself. He, he may have killed himself <laughs> just to, to get a, back to the spawn as quickly as possible. I think he missed an upwards direct personally, but sure, we'll go for that. Oh, did he? Oh my <laughs> lord. Um, it, it, it's, uh, that fight could have gone better. It, it definitely could have. It didn't, however, and now Freak Show is holding last with big uber disadvantage. And Aisho is already getting a little bit of cap on spawn. Uh, not really too much though, since he's still ubered. And already three players have gone down for Freak Show. Yeah, and that's going to be the round. They were able to absolutely convert that. I mean, they had the huge ad. They knew all the players were in spawn. They just held them in there uh, and kept the point. 15 minutes left on the clock, but 2-1 uh, so far. That Honestly, the entire round was a series of a series of unfortunate events where Freak Show's Ubers just went awfully. Uh, they really need to get so much more out of them than they have been in that round so far. Going back into a mid, though, Matt going down very early. Miramu going down as well, however, so they're going to need to pick up Lau here. He's already low. He does die. Hookie going low. Aisha going low. Does look like Freakshow's going to pick up this mid with a full team wipe. They lose Miramu, so no quick conversion on to last. However, they're going to be at least able to take second off this one, most likely, uh, which is what they need. So far, they've actually won the last two, or is it three mids? Elmo? How many mids have they won? I, I made a bit of a trade. Come on, man. Uh, Freak Show's won three, and the other 30's only won one. Right, there we go. Well, I mean, it, I think it's uh, it's still pretty good for, for Miramu and Co here on, uh, on Freak Show. Because they, they do have a tiny, tiny little bit of active, uh, and they've been showing that they're, they're really unafraid to sort of... I mean, I know we, we were sort of criticising them maybe a little for their um, reliance on their soldiers, but they're unafraid to throw them in and then follow up. Uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but the ad has actually... <laughs> I mean, look, it's uh, it's equalised. <laughs> if anything, lao has got a tiny bit of ad. I think they were grinding very, very hard. So it, it is going to be an even over sort of situation so i think it's a kind of golden time but they do look like they want to push this one straight in through big door yeah i'm expecting some kind of behind play there they can get some presence in big door like there is now they've got fane behind dork goes down kind of trying to do something similar which means really it's only the fane threat he's going to kind of stay alive until dork respawns though because if he dies too soon then they're too down paulson dying to dance through choke that's going to be very good for them now uh because now Fane basically has free reign behind, and the player they've committed on him is a player that, ooh, just as I say that, he goes down to riot. Yeah, Connor goes in for a sack, though, picks up Cookie and gets the force, does die for it. Two players for, for Cookie and a force, I think you're happy with that. They're ready to use it, Choke, they flash a few players, they keep Daz alive, they keep down alive. They picked up Aishu, they picked up Riot, they have got players on the mid, it's just Paulson with his pain train, though. Um, they're going to be able to, uh, to pick up Paulson very quickly, I think, in the big door area. Dork takes him in. Daz has been capping on second that entire time as well. The rest of the team's here. They've got such a massive player ad, but now it's only one player ad as we speak. 
I don't know if they're going to be able to push last almost immediately with this. I mean, Freak Show have been here like, what, two times before or something, and uh, it hasn't really worked out for them fantastically. Of course, it did in the first round, but uh, yeah, don't think that they have a massive chance of taking this with even Ubers. They're going to have to try to get some significant advantage here because um, I mean even their uber ad pushes haven't been the greatest in the last so far we're already seeing no off class apart from a single heavy nope there's the engineer I mean we knew it was going to be coming 12 minutes left on the clock as well um, so enough time to for either of these teams to play neither of them can really rest on their laurel it's only a one round out but you see Daz spamming that sentry gun doing his absolute darndest to uh, prevent it from even being built in the first Right, going a little bit low on that uh, launch pad area as well, but I think we're just going to be seeing the usual sort of last push thing here, where uh, until something major happens, nothing will happen. Uh, that said, Dork is actually edging the point from that lower area. He's. I told uh, you. What did what? I tell you? The sentry gun doesn't cover point. Thirty never plays point. I told you it was exploitable, and sure enough, they just walked Dork under. She shot at the stickies a little bit, got through them, started capping. Super slow dip from Matt there, and he just capped at the point. He, he edged the point a few times, like they knew he was there. Yep. And it's it, thirty though. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> coming into this mid, Dork goes down almost immediately. Probably his just desserts for that one. It's two for two, and now it's four for two. It's looking pretty good for 30. They have lost their demo man and soldier, but they have cleaned up the entirety of... Uh... I, I've forgotten. Freak Show. Freak Show. <laughs> My <laughs> lord. I've been sitting here too long. Your name now. Exactly. Uh, you know, that's actually really, really, really good for 30, because now they have a big, fat uber advantage. They've already taken seven. It's literally a full uber advantage. And they're going to be pushing straight into last. They can take all the time they want into this, you know, gather up their players and just execute the perfect push. Meanwhile, what they have to contend with is level two sentry gun that doesn't cover point, a pyro that's covering sentry gun, and no other off classes. Sometimes I forget you're an engineer, man, and then I, I remember in, in shocking clarity <laughs> the, the pyro does go down, but delays the Uber just long enough. The NG subs back off. We do see players playing on the point, and they manage to collect it. Dork unable to get there in time on that heavy class. And that means that we're going to 3-2. 30s managed to get themselves back into the lead. 10 minutes left on the clock. Very quick round from 30. This is exactly the type of game we want to see. It's already 3-2 and still 10 minutes left. They're going to get some other few rounds. Going back to the mid-fight, Freak Show is really going to want to keep the momentum. Sorry, get some momentum back on their side or at least prevent Freak Show. Sorry, 30 <laughs> from getting momentum on their side. Paulson trying to go up drop down. Looks like he failed his jump, I think. <laughs> I think we've both been sitting here too long. Riot goes for a nice big bomb onto Miramu, takes him out. Connor does manage to pick up Lau on the tail end of that. Dork still fighting for his life. He actually does go down. So we see 30 collecting the mid, but they're mid spawning with me. And uh, Miramu's up at the same time. So I think Miramu's going to end up with a very slight... Uh, it's it's like 2%. I'm not even going to talk about it. I was going to say Miramu ends up with an ad, but it's, it's, it's not even worth talking you know, Yeah, it's not the two point five percent advantage. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, now we see Freak Show back on last again. Uh, Sentry Gun going back up, still doesn't cover last. Shaking my head, guys. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it didn't go perfectly for thirty that mid. They didn't get the they didn't keep the medical alive so they're not going to be able to put another quick round on the board but you still got to be pretty comfortable in the situation with eight minutes left the more times taken off the timer while you have a round advantage is generally going to be a good thing honestly so they've got to be relatively comfortable sitting here and just making sure that they keep freak show boxed into last and trying to pull off the perfect push however someone was pointing out in chat earlier that the first three rounds were all coast to coast rounds so <laughs> Statistically speaking, here, where Freak Show doesn't have an awful chance of winning this one if they manage to break out of this last. Yeah, I mean, if they can break out of the last, if they roll things right, they're definitely able to get all the way to the other last and make it happen. I uh, I did see someone in the chat asking about how this uh, the the scoring works in this, how you take the map to explain. Uh, it is a win difference of five. So if you were up five rounds and the other team had zero, you that's an immediate win. It's like a mercy rule. Um, otherwise, there's a 30-minute timer, and uh, if you if you can't create that five difference, 
um, it's the most rounds at the end. So in this case, I mean, neither of these teams is stomping on the other. We're just going to have to see what happens in 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Yes, sir. And at this moment, it's looking like what we're going to see for 7 minutes and 30 seconds is a heavy standing in front of a Sentry Gun, trying to keep it alive desperately, while Freak Show just sends all the spam they want in the world. Honestly, this is such a hard last to get anything going on. You basically have to wait for the... They, Freak Show basically has to wait for 30 to do something, screw up, and then they can push out. And then they're going to have to quickly hop off the Heavy and the Engineer if they don't get a quite a sizable advantage to push out on this front. Meanwhile, I mean, 30s doesn't have to get another round to win the game, honestly. They can win as it is. I mean, you know my saying. You've really, like, I, I feel like you've turned my brain to oatmeal with that <laughs> sentence, man. It's just, like, it's porridge. Um, we do see Paulson spamming the gun in the end. He, he did go into that lower area, but he backed out. In the meantime, Matt managed to pick up Connor. That might be the one player ad they need to move in. The sentry gun goes down as well, Riot able to spam that one out. Riot goes in for a sack, but unable to really make anything major happen. So he just goes down, and I think it's going to be a little bit of a reset. The classic reset. Got to love it. Um, of course, it's just as... This is almost like watching Badlands when you're in a situation, you're holding last, you're in such a high danger situation, but you can't get out of last no matter what you try. Of course, Gully Wash isn't as brutal as Badlands, but it's still just such a tough spot for a team to really be in. Um, they've got six minutes left, though, and only one round they need to get, so really, they don't have to break out of last in the next 30 seconds. They can take a couple of minutes to get out there, and if the push is good enough, then things can really swing forward their way. Especially Gully Wash is not really a map that has a lot of transitional play. It tends to congregate around the lasts. Yeah, I did notice Riot checked those uh, those off classes once he spawned, but uh, obviously he didn't see anything that uh, especially surprised him. They've come back up on the cookie cutter loadout of players. Um, they have managed to clean up the, the gun yet again, though, so that might give them a little bit of opportunity to sort of poke a little bit, just hope for something. Um, we do see the pause come through there in the end. Um, and Riot, That's right, I think, needing to reconnect. Yeah, and he's now he on Spy as well. He did reconnect. He's checking off classes again. Is he going to leave spawn? Come on, do a spy he's gotta push. Of, he's got to come out of spawn as spice to you know pay us back for the pause. Come on, man. <laughs> Matt, However, Daz. there it is. The trap to kill Daz. That demo pick is absolutely unreal in this scenario. I would be spewing if I was Daz. However, Matt takes quite a bit of damage. Paulson gets onto the point. Gets that about half cap, but it's not really enough to make anything major happen. A few players drop onto the point. Not really in the most ideal spot to really defend anymore, but Paulson's just about to spawn. And the uh, the player who, um, sorry, Dad, he, uh, he actually respawned as well. And they pick up Cookie, which actually might give them what they need to push straight back out on Freak Show. Well, even Uber's early wash last, I know how successful this last push out is gonna be especially because looks like 30 is anticipating it quite hard connor eating getting bullied very hard he goes down with fane as well that's the uber coming out from freak show here only for paulson death riot goes down as well however so we have even players here but the uber is a little bit better for 30 uh they might be able to take a little bit more space with that but it looks like they're still going to be locked out of last since all those players are congregating around and have respawned now so yeah, far out, man. Some of these fights are absolutely unreal. Three minutes 40 left on the clock. Freak Show, they're going to be feeling that heat. They definitely want to win this. You can see how much they want. They do pick up Matt, which is a pretty unreal pick. I mean, just like but earlier, Daz. picking up Demo Man is unreal. Daz kick picks up Cookie as well, does end up going down to right. I mean, Daz is just playing his heart out, man. He's trying his best, and his best is... Pretty damn good, but not quite enough for his team to follow up on. They're going to be forced back to last after losing Dork, as well, of course, Daz for his two frags. And now you've got three minutes left. They are terrified at this moment, right? This is the series right here. Three, going to be decided in three minutes. Either they get the cap and go to Golden Cap, most likely, or they don't manage to get off their last, and it all spirals out of control for them. Yeah, I mean, two minutes 50, it's dangerous, baby. I feel like I'm just going to be reading this timer for the next two minutes. The Uber does get used through that top area down, taking a nice big solo. 
Matt gets a pretty big solo out of Lau as well, so their Uber is actually a little bit better. Down gets Skybox a little bit, and deleted. Dork goes down as well. Connor manages to take out Matt, but that's the only frag, and they lose five players. Fane, the only one left alive. Everyone rushing for that last point, just hoping to be able to pick it up. There we capped. It's uh, it's another round on the side of 30. Now, Lug, you're a better mathematician than I am. <laughs> Two minutes and 15 seconds. Is it possible? Uh, well, if we divide the square of the uh, time relative to... I don't know. <laughs> I reckon it's it slightly is, possible. Both teams won't. already dropped. Oh, what was that, Elmer? You can't do it. It's like a 55 second round if you, like, cap the whole time, but they won't, so... Yeah, and looking at the way this mid has gone, we do actually see 30 looking like they're on the upper end of this one. They're calling it in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, with a minute 40 left on the clock. We're seeing GG's come on out. Everyone seems absolutely exhausted after that one. Um, I suppose it's just vanity rounds now, I think... Uh, I think that 30 wants to, to take that one through for just one more, just one more to make it happen. Yeah, I mean, that was an absolutely fantastic game from both these teams. Really, they, they played their absolute hard outs the entire time. They kept this as thrilling as humanly possible. Insanely close rounds, insanely close games. Even that last one, 2-5 for the final score. Well, even, even then, oh, another minute left. <laughs> Most of the players actually have already disconnected from the side of, um, of, uh, Preacher. <laughs> Preacher. I mean, wouldn't you, though? Wouldn't you, though? I mean, I would be absolutely shattered after this sort of, this sort of best of five. I mean, I've played some long games, but I've never been this good at the game, so I don't even, I can't even imagine the sort of, like, mental exhaustion that you'd be looking at. You know, especially uh, after playing on this. four hours and ten minutes.